Trinies and Trinsettas. Hey, Pinky. <laughs> hey, Choice. Hey, Soul Star. Hi, Karma Girl. How are y'all doing? <laughs> and hi, anybody that hasn't put their name in the chat, but still saying hi to you. <laughs> yes, it is a good art day, so I'm doing really good. I got a new stylist. Hopefully no technical difficulties today. <laughs> Because I look, I got so uh, caught up. I actually got kind of far in this. So I saved it in layers. But I did get far in starting to draw. Because once you start, it's hard to stop, you know. <laughs> but y'all, okay, here's the topics. Because I'm going to bring y'all up early, too. So we can just get to talking so I can draw. And I don't have to um, try to click on your comments too much. And then we can still keep it interactive. Y'all, okay. So we got Kimmy and Maurice interview in case you want to say your own thoughts on that. Is succeeding in here? Is she in here? Oh, Lord. <laughs> here we go. So Kim and Marie's interview. Uh, Kim and Croy are not getting a divorce. Um, and I posted any links to YouTube videos that I saw when I first saw it. They're in my description box. So you can go watch the whole video if you ever want to. So Kim Pyre, Mims, a lot of them, uh, I think even uh, DJ Richie Scott talked about the Kim and Croy thing. Thank you, Pinky. Thank you so much. You don't even know. I put my heart and soul into that. So whew, thank you so much for saying that. Um, so um, we got Kim and Croy not divorcing, right? And Amazon <laughs> former operations manager is being sentenced to 16 years uh, for stealing almost $10 million. Really, it was greater than $9 million, almost $10 million. So we can talk about that. I can give you all details about that. Uh, Kelvin owes, I think it's UBS bank around $20,000. That's Wendy's, Wendy Williams's ex. Um, that was Chronicle speaks. And I did link to her video and Stormy and Letitia are arguing. And, uh, I linked here for hot teas video in my description box for that one. <laughs> 
Yeah, choice. It's a lot. It's a lot, right? <laughs> so Sketchy Saturday is kind of of a continuation from Freeform Friday, where we can talk about stuff that's not on the list. We just don't do uh, politics and try to we we don't criticize content creators. You know, try to stay away from that. So that is it. So I'm gonna drop my link, and we're gonna start on these lips. Well, I kind of already started, but I'm gonna let y'all see the process. I was like, golly, I was almost to the point where I was finishing up. <laughs> but yes, it is hard to stop, y'all. Okay, so my inspiration you see on the left, and I, I stuck with the deep skin tone, so that's going to be the base of the uh, skin tone itself for the lips. About the one dollar. One dollar. Oh, this ten million dollars, or something else, Pinky. Okay, y'all, we're gonna start from the top though. Oh, here I go. I got Pinky. Okay, Pinky, I'm bringing you up. If someone comes behind you, we do a five minute timer just to make sure everybody gets a chance. And um, I only do one at a time because I'm not good at child, uh, crowd control. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Pinky. You're still muted in case you're okay. Oh. Can you hear me? I hear you. Can y'all hear Pinky okay? Hopefully. I can hear you, though. Hi. Hey, first time up. Happy to have you. <laughs> can you still hear me? Pinky? Yes. Can you hear okay. me? I can't. You sound a little far away, possibly, from your microphone. And I'm right here in front of, it's a new one uh, that we're testing out right now. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Well, as long as no one says it's too bad, I should be able to hear you okay. Well, if, if I'm not going to use this, I can change it. Okay. Well, I have not seen any feedback yet, so I'm not sure yet, but I can I can understand you so far. Well, I'll just change over to the other one. Okay, okay. okay. Did you want your camera on? Oh. Uh -huh. You can have it on. I just want to make sure you wanted it on. Well, I can change it later. Okay, okay. You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're fine. You're on camera. I just want to make sure you knew you were on okay, camera. That's, you know what? I'm always on camera, but I, I you are. <laughs> my hair too. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, Pinky, give me your thoughts on any of the topics. Okay, wait. Let me just do one thing. I, I okay. Think I know why you hear the echo. Okay, okay. Is it better now? Yeah, I, I, um, every they're saying they can hear you. Karma Girl says she can hear you. Hey, Keisha Cox, welcome back. Succeeding says she can hear you, so you're good, okay. Pinky. All right, and it should be better now. It's just a new, um, a mic and everything. My husband just uh bought for me after, um, you know, because I haven't had several mics, but due to the, the, the rooms are so big and high ceilings, mm -hmm. I always echo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Even the dogs echo in the house. Everybody I, echoes. Gotcha. <laughs> I've seen some of that big, beautiful house, so I get it. <laughs> okay. So it's hard to not echo no matter what I do. That's why some mics I, I had several of them. I have to get, I don't use them because I echo. Mm. Um, yeah. So there's nothing to do. It's just keep trying until I find. So this is a new one. We're just trying it out right now. So you're the first one to, uh, for me to play. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'll take that. And tell me honest feedback now, uh, Kendra. Honest feedback. Kendra, you need to get I hear, So I hear that little airy, windy noise. I don't so much hear an echo. It, it sounds hollow, but there's no echo. That's what I hear. So there's a little bit of an airy radio. You know how the, yeah. not staticky, but the air noise you can hear sometimes, like the air conditioner is on or something. And But I don't hear an echo. You just sound hot. It sounds like you're in a big area, a big space. <laughs> A big, uh, 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 I'm on the east wing of the house, so it got some big rooms so no, because nobody's down here. So it's okay, just, just lots of rooms out here. So it's probably echoing because there's nobody. All these, well, maybe if I close some of these doors, maybe I will echo this more. Yeah, but you're you're not echoing. It's just hollow, just hollow. big areas. You're okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. No, -uh, you're okay. You're okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have to tell my husband. We got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get started. Ooh, okay, where do you want to start? It's up to you. 
uh, we're gonna let's talk about that uh, that interview. Ooh. Oh, ooh. okay, let's go. <laughs> that that interview, ooh. Kimmy. I hate to say, it, Kimmy just I don't know. She is turning into uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, bird brain. She's turning into another bird brain. Oh man, right? Yes. <laughs> She's just smarter, like book smarter, but yeah. She's book smart, <laughs> but she want to be so, she want her marriage to work so bad. She's overlooking everything. It's like, girl, this this man, you only, only been married a little while. So uh, you, he's showing me what, what he's, what, what he's, what he's all about. Mm -hmm. but he was just hiding for a little while. Right. Yeah, but it started coming out during the reunion when he was uh, the way they were treating Melanie. He, right. You know, it started coming out, and I started looking at oh Lord, uh -uh. and that's the moment I said, uh uh, no, I got to keep my eyes on them too. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yep. And okay, so let me see. I'm trying to ask you something about the interview since that's where we're at. Okay, so what did you think about? Maurice's the way he answered the questions, even after Funky Daniva and Claudia Jordan seemed to try to give him a few layups, like they were. They, you know, they, they, did, try, just, they, they, they did try to help him out. Yeah. They, I mean, uh, even uh, Claudia tried to help, him, and he still stuck to the same old thing. Even for a man, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Funky Daniva. Yeah, Funky Daniva. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Even tried to explain to her. Uh, he said, you know, "Cringy." Uh, you know, no, he wasn't having that. No, he's going to stick to what he's what he said. There's no right. cleaning it up. What's been said has been said. He, he right. Said, well, how do you think she feel about it? Do you apologize to these her? No, he ain't not apologizing. He, he said no. That it, it was. Uh, what did he say? Uh, that called her animal or something. To do what she's still doing, just rolling over. Yep, he kept. He said, "He he, I, I'm calling her a mattress soldier. Soldier now. That's what Kimmy is to me, a mattress soldier." Ooh, girl, that's shade. Ooh, that's it shade. is, but that is what she is. I'll I'll take it. It is shade, but you know what? That's exactly what she is. That's a, I mean, he has no respect for her. He respects his ex wife more than her. He does. He does. And he it's so much I tried to deny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, about, uh, was it, Kawa? he wants Kawa to think good of him. Yes. That's all he cares about. Yes. Because every time they get on a, a dispute about something, oh, he got Kawa. He's dialing her phone. No, he got it. I'm going to call Kawa. Yep. Man, oh, can you, can you see my, like she is running Kimmy's house. Right, right. She's running her house and her husband. And I, yes. and I, I was looking at him like, you want them? You got them. Right. Right. You got them all right. <laughs> Girl, it's just too much, too much, too much. And you so know, true. Get, it comes on tonight. I know. I think I, um, I probably won't be able to watch it until tomorrow, but... I'll, I'll be watching it. I'll probably be live again tomorrow to talk about it because that episode looks like it's got a lot going on. Yeah, because Kimmy's going to try to uh, get uh, Kyra to uh, clean up her the statement that, that she's been a side chick. <laughs> and I'm like, how do you how are you asking the wife, the ex-wife, to clear up you being a side chick? Are you kidding me? Don't ask me nothing. And Don't you dare ask me. <laughs> She ain't having no part of it. She ain't got nothing. She said she ain't got nothing to do with that. Right. Mm. Ooh, I love it. I love oh, it. Real fast. Thank you, Sylvia P, for stopping through. I know you, you say you can't stay, but thank you so much for stopping through. <laughs> um, hey, who said that? <laughs> yes. Okay. And I just want you to know you got two minutes, Pinky, but you can rotate back in. I got succeeding behind oh, you. Yeah. You can always okay. keep coming back up. I'll rotate back in. Let me see my two minutes. <laughs> I want to talk about within that two minutes, mm -hmm. uh, Letitia. Letitia, if uh, anybody uh, seen, you know, if you watched last week's episode really good, when she was having her first um, lunch with her daughter, right? Mm -hmm. That stuff was nothing but stormy. 
they was actually wrapping all the bottles had you know the pink bottles it was wrapping the yep. label on <laughs> yes. they, they, they didn't have enough labels so one bottle remained pink and i, I made sure I, I i thought i put that out there everybody see it. yeah that <sighs> bottle, they were wrapping the labels and those are not her hair care products and you can see how a girl she is she had no makeup artist for the for the girl the makeup yeah. the way she did it, I don't know what she gonna do. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah. But yeah. again, she had no uh stylist, no nothing. She was she was doing it what they call the broke way. Broke people's way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but listen, but she the one brought up. She's um she got a what a million dollar company? Yeah. Multi-million dollar company, Multi -million dollar company yeah. according to her. And yeah. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. I don't need to. So y'all let me make sense of that because my and the way the way Marcel was chasing down that hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, you can wait. <laughs> but you know what? If they got all that money, a hundred dollars is like a dollar to them. Exactly. That's why I'm like, why are you so pressed? One dollar. It's like you chasing down a dollar. Yes. So no. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop down the next one that come up again. And I okay. Back. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you, Pinky. Okay, <laughs> let me uh, drop down right quick. Okay, come back up if you want to. Okay, you know I will. <laughs> yeah, uh, just... mm -hmm. Do you want me to drop you down, or you drop? Okay, she got it. Hey, succeeding. Hi. <laughs> I don't even want to talk to you succeed. Hey, you girl, did, hey, you did stop for me though. You did. So I gotta Hey chat. Oh my gosh. How y'all doing? I'm so good and happy. <laughs> we finally see the light succeed. We see you the know? light. <laughs> you could ask me any questions that you want. I'm ready for oh, all the answers. Succeed. <laughs> I I want to know. Okay, because you watched it, but you watched it knowing that. You know what was already yeah. going to be, but succeeding. Did you think that? Oh my gosh, it's so hard to ask now because now I know how Kimmy is. For <laughs> sure, it's so, so hard to ask a question. What did you think about um, Claudia trying to reinforce and try to give him a second chance on how he could, a third chance on how he uh, could answer? That reminded me of when Diva, Diva, gray hair Diva, interviewed his brother. Mm. And she kept giving him chance after chance. And remember that look, if you ever saw that video, because like I said, I just watched it just this week. Okay. The, the look that Diva had at the end of the video was defeat and disappointment. And that was the exact same <laughs> look that Claudia had. Yeah. Claudia was like, oh, this is really no hope for this. That's how she looked. <laughs> at that point, Claudia realized that he was a hopeless cause. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? And when she was asked if she was, Kimmy looked uncomfortable and constipated the entire time. She did. I tried to catch her face. Did you see? I tried to catch her face. She her was, expression. yes. She was stiff. She looked yeah. like she didn't want to be there. She was like, just. And then the other thing that was interesting to find out was that she did not want to give her story of everything she was going through. It was Maurice. Oh my gosh. They said that on there. Come on now. Go back and watch it. It's well, how, first... how long was the interview that you saw? Cause maybe I accidentally caught the shorter version. Oh, okay. Cause this is the one that talked about Kim and all of them. It said it was 51 minutes or so, maybe. Oh, I didn't see that one. Okay, I got to go back and find it. Mine was literally eight minutes, and they cut Al off. That's why I was like, oh, oh. they cut Al off. So, yeah, so they asked her what made her share her story, and she oh, said it actually was <sighs> and I said, I'm not surprised. Looking for another storyline. Golly, not making her use her cancer. <laughs> And That's then just crazy. think, she was uncomfortable. And remember when Carlos talked about all she went through? Yeah. Little did he know that it was Gazoo in the background <laughs> making her do that. Wow. And little she did he said know. that he now he tried to make it. She said she wanted to just go somewhere. 
and just kind of deal with her situation. But he convinced her that it was like her duty, that it was a platform that she could use. He probably gave her one of his, you know, Martin, not Luther King speeches. Yeah, 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 yeah. You saw that hand working in the interview too with this, you know, like he thought he was saying something. Right. <laughs> and the other thing I noticed is, I don't know if you all noticed this in the chat, and I am not exaggerating to you all. She blinked over a hundred times. No. Okay. Before you go on, hey, T Talk with your girl. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, T Talk. T Talk is a content creator. Um, and I know Choice is going to drop her link soon, but I just want to make sure I said that out loud. Uh, okay. So, see, go ahead. I just want to make she sure I <laughs> blinked over a hundred times. Oh, my gosh. And I, I Googled it. <laughs> It said stress. <laughs> and she looked. And after that, that's why they asked her if she was stressed. I think all that blinking they saw. And then I don't know if you noticed, Maurice kept giving her this look, squinching his eyes. And if I had to think of what that look looked like, it looked yeah. like Ike Turner. Like, it looked like blankety blank. I will <laughs> beat your blankety 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 blank. <laughs> it, it did. Now, you all watch that video and tell me, or those of you that saw that, if y'all thought that, and I'm he kept cutting them eyes, squinching oh. them eyes, looking over there at her like that. <sighs> and when he said one week someone likes him, next week they don't, I'm like, who does he think likes him? Not I'm gonna say, who likes liked him? him exactly? Who was the back and forth with <laughs> Kimmy was blinking for help? <laughs> yes, I said, oh my goodness. And then I thought about this she has a son, yes, how insensitive. For her son, and he's raising a son. And did you hear his no good behind talking about as long as the kids are okay with it? You know Jalen's not okay with how you talk about his mom. Right. Who would be okay with that? And then when they kept saying the words chosen did not, when she said did not protect me, girl, the words disrespected you. <sighs> the word is disrespect, right. And he doubled down on it. And then to change the story of how they met, we were introduced. He was flipping houses. And she was wanting to get into real estate. Now he was flipping houses, Kimmy. <laughs> and and oh then remember, God. and then this is the other thing. She must have forgot this story she told. She had told a story about him, the brother being married to her friend. If the oh, friend okay. is her friend of her 13 years, how does she not know her friend's brother? And how was the first time that they got married? The first time that the two mothers met? That's just me. I'm okay. Just saying, you know, I analyze everything. Yes. And I need you to because apparently I be giving people too much leeway. The mothers. You remember um, when they got married? The, she said, this is the first time our mothers have sat next to each other. And no one ever said this anything about this. But as soon as they got married, not only did Monster MJ come to live with them a few months later, their, his mother came to live with them. Oh, no. How did I they, miss this? They got married. And then, because remember, they were fixing the house for the mother. So the mother came to live with them and stayed with them a few months. Uh-uh. No. Right after no. the... And remember, they never went on a honeymoon. Oh, So she God. is always... She's not even right. back seat. She's in the trunk. Right. Hi, Amy Smith. How are you she doing? She does. The Amy, she does. She has... I could... Just off the top of my head, Amy, I have three of those stories. The one that she told them, the one that I, oh, the one that Kyla was doing a show and found out that she had introduced her, they were, she would introduced her um by a mutual friend. And mm -hmm. then the one that he was cutting hair and mm -hmm. she kind of stalked him on Facebook. So it's all these different stories that have been given. And it's kind of like, okay. Mm-mm. And okay, so that's let me... what I got to say about that. 
Any other questions? <laughs> oh, I know I have. I should have so many. You better be glad I'm drawing over here. No, I, I better be glad I'm drawing over here. I do have so many questions. I'm trying to run through what was going on. Okay. Well, what did Al ask him since I missed the full thing? Do you remember his question? I thought Al's questions were good because his question was still going back to um, how he made her feel. You okay. know, because he saw that it wasn't going anywhere. He saw that Funky tried to make him think about what he said. Yeah. And it didn't go anywhere. Then Claudia, she came in and she tried a couple of different times. Yeah. And it didn't go anywhere. And then, you know, Al's more like a peacemaker. So then he tried. It still did not. <laughs> nothing resonated with him. He doesn't care. And But here's the thing, too. Kimmy, I see, convinces him not to care. She, you know what I mean? She's like, no, no, let me catch him before he starts to think he should feel bad. Whether, you know, I guess her motivation is because she wants to stay married, I guess, because whatever. But she does do that. Have you seen that? Oh, so he's almost yeah, convinced. She does it with everything. <sighs> but I thought, you know, she's done that with everything from the moment they got married. She's, I yeah. mean, think about well, it. Probably before they got married. She probably let him convince her that she wasn't the side chick. Right. I mean, how many of us would have our mother-in-law right away? I mean, doesn't she have some other sons to move in right away as soon as you get married? I mean, are you kidding? Uh, so yeah, that's, it that's, shows that's, that's that she's, he's never protected her. He's right. never. And when Claudia said, I could tell you love him and he loves you. And I thought, no, 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 Claudia. I can see the love that she has for him. Yeah. She loves his dirty draws. <laughs> she and does. She does. You know, but, you know, she just does. You know, I, no. And he does not seem to have that same feeling for her. Oh, no. I ugh, Because one thing Funky said was at the beginning, he said, I know you don't have her doing as much like dropping off the kids and cleaning up and cooking and i thought funky hasn't seen the show because that's all right because he named the exact thing <laughs> that <she had> to do. <laughs> that's what she's doing <laughs> you know that's all she talked about oh, was no. having to cook and having to clean and you know they never talked about him having meals brought in and you know, yeah. all the things that he, and I, <laughs> okay, and I want to know what Choice Designs has to say about this. And I am so tired of her. You know, I know when people get married, they say we're pregnant. Yeah. I guess that makes the guy feel good because all of what we go through during the pregnancy is mm -hmm. not a we. It's not a we. we feel, oh, wait, before we, you go we any feel, further, LaDawn, I see you. You'll be up next. Uh, I got the timer oh, set since you oh. came up, so... <laughs> We feet not swollen together. We mm -hmm. not going to the bathroom as many. If that's the case, then I want you to drink a lot of water so every time I go, <laughs> we could go together. And right. I want you to strap one of those things on your stomach so that yeah. you could really be. Then see if you say we. After right. After he tells you what he feels and you'll notice that you can't speak French anymore. And right. she keeps saying we went through the, the keto. Oh, that's we the worst. There's nothing running through your system, pumping through your system, making you feel weak and not yourself. There's no we. <laughs> right. And, and, and I'm, I'm with Pinky. He just wanted someone. Pinky, you know, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but he wanted, you know, like he took her back to that movie 13. What's called 13 years of slave? Right? Oh, my God. 12 he years wanted, of slave. <laughs> what they used to call it like I, in the 18. He wanted a bad W. He did. He did. No, that's that's, that's the name I was thinking too. I'm not gonna lie to you. I said SEX soldier, mattress soldier, and in my head I said the bed W as yep. well. <laughs> that's what he wanted. He doesn't seem to require no more than that. He lacks right. maturity, he lacks self-control. Yep. And this is the last thing I'm gonna say. He obviously does not know his wife because if he did not know his wife did not want that, that means you are not in tune to your wife's body. Right. 
Right, right, right. And you can't tell me she was not in pain in that, certain oh, areas. So I'm God. trying to figure out, I don't mean to be graphic. I'm trying to figure out how it even happened and how I, it occurred. I know what you, with right. What she no, was going you, through. Right, succeeding. That's something that I was thinking too. I'm like, and she tried to say, I just don't get a as strong climax right. or something she tried to say. Like, girl, that's not what you said. That's not what you said on the show. <laughs> I said, this guy is just dumping like he dumping dirt in a pickup truck and going because he is not in tune with her needs. Mm -hmm. He is not in tune with her feelings. Mm -hmm. It is all about him. He is a selfish type of guy. He that type that if y'all ever left anyone for that reason, he is that guy that y'all left for that reason. Oh. When you were like, is this all I'm getting? Oh, no, right. I know this relationship <laughs> isn't going anywhere. Yeah, so, so I lost all my respect that I, I thought I had lost it yesterday when succeeding broke the news to me, but I definitely lost it last uh, this morning when I watched the interview. I I'm telling did. you. Yes. Am I time up? Nope, you still got 45 seconds. Which okay, is you have any more questions? <laughs> oh, okay, the other thing I'll say real quick on the credit card okay, thing. Okay, okay. Okay, that man had old. I mean, he must. He had a five thousand dollar limit. How did they let him go over fifteen thousand dollars? I don't know. Cause you you heard she did say that on the video. Now you're not talking about the son. You're talking about the ex, right? Because the son cleared up his part. No, not the yeah, oh, yeah, the ex. Yeah, I don't know how he did that. I mean, have, I have they y'all ever that. been able to go over your credit limit fifteen thousand no, dollars? No. The bank deserves to be in default and to just wipe right <laughs> off that loan if they right. let go over. Okay, I'll go back in the chat. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, Sophie. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> hey, Ladon. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? All right. Hey, succeeding girl. <laughs> um, oh God, I am like you, like Kimmy. Mm -hmm. Like you shocked me at first. I was still on the fence with her, but I mm -hmm. still gave her a little props for being kind of a strong woman. Mm -hmm. But she really showed how desperate she is to be connected to a man yeah so vulgar that's so disgusting like he humiliated her and she was sitting there like she was he, in a zombie or he, was, he was currently humiliating her in real time yes she, that mouth opened a couple times and she she didn't say nothing and <laughs> she like a lot of them women on that show mm -hmm. will take the beating Mm -hmm. for that man and look stupid for him, protect him, yep. shield him. Yep. Yep. We're, We're seeing done. it more and more how they will protect these men over their own dignity and respect. Yes. No way Kimmy's son is okay with this for the yep. simple fact when that picture came out. Oh, I said, yeah, but I don't know if your son's okay with it. I don't know. <laughs> I know you're saying, yep, I, I agree with what you're thinking, how you're thinking, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I don't know if uh, her son's okay with it. I think he's kind of almost been, like, uh, excommunicated or something. Cause I he's think totally... he's distances himself. I yeah. think, allegedly, in my opinion, first of all, when that picture came out of Maurice at, um, with my hotel in um yeah in Vegas, he didn't like that. He had a talk with him. Okay, okay. Because Kimmy's son did not like it. Don't treat my mother like that. Don't do that. Right, right. You right, understand? Right. So I can imagine he knew he almost lost his mother. One, he don't got no sisters, no brother. I'm the only child. Right. No sisters, no brother, no nothing. And this man that first of all told me I wasn't ambition enough. Right. He was pushing oh me out God. the house. Oh my God! To bring his allegedly um, uh, smoking in the bathroom vape son up in there though, lazy, yep. not yep. ambitious son up in there though. Okay, I, 
Well, okay, okay. I said I'm saying yep because I'm in the heat of the moment, but I'll be trying to go easy on MJ because he's still a well, minor. This is not you. This is me talking. Yes, it is you. Okay, okay. Go ahead, Ladon. I be okay. over here. I'm over here so, drawing too, so I'm over here like. <laughs> do your thing, girl. We we came for that. We came for that. So, um, yeah. So my thing is, you brought your lazy son up in there to lay up off of Kimmy. Okay, while well, you're supposed to be teaching men how to be men, you ain't even being a man. You know what he I'm saying? Not, so, not I, you know, so in my opinion, I don't feel like Jaden will be okay. Jalen will be okay with this, knowing that he almost lost his mother and right. he wanted to be there. And, and and he, that big bear, that big yellow bear, okay. blocked him. Right, doggish wrong. The right. only child she got wanted to be there. right. You and sent him crying to his, his, to his basically uncle in law, uncle by marriage. You sent that boy crying to him. Yes, you could have at least split the time with him, so y'all both could have got a break. That's you understand? All. It's not that hard. Come on <laughs> now, come on now. You did that on purpose because what do A B is do? They isolate you from the yep. people that exactly you the most. Done. They isolate you exactly. So, you know, for Kimmy to sit there and just keep allowing this mm -hmm. and to, to um, sugarcoat this like it is nothing. But in like, one yeah. breath, she complains about it. But, yeah, she don't want nobody else beating up on her. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Kiss my grits. <laughs> you in a dumb B category now. No oh. sympathy at all. Over it's here. like she jumped head first too. Oh my gosh! I'm so sickened. I'm shocked. And Can then me, what's crazy? We, we just saw this interview right before um oh Ladon. Okay, you got like a minute left, Ladon, because I forgot to start my timer. Um, okay. But uh, and I'm not counting this part towards your minute. But it's like uh, what was I? Oh, she the her timing is crazy with this interview because you know now she'll be with Kyle when we watch tonight. Right. And she's gonna look even crazier. <laughs> yo, yo, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me, you know. And okay, real quick with my other minute and Stormy, Stormy mm -hmm. and uh, and Tisha. I, you know, I'm kind of feeling like it, it is a storyline, but it's a part of what their life is about right now. Okay, okay, I believe they did have a deal in the beginning, okay. and Tisha was slick with it because she's a, a low life. And Stormy's like, and then you got a nerve to try to charge me a hundred dollars, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this is gonna unfold. Yes. And Stormy is supposed to be having a conversation with Mel, too. And I like the look on Mel's face. Yep. Like, B, yep. don't play with me. Like, okay. Come on now. <laughs> huh. Okay, I'll come back up. Okay, okay. Hi, Miss Main Event. How are you doing? Just want to make sure I acknowledge you. I know LaDon, LaDon be getting it in, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm about to bring you up, Choice. Hold on. Okay, okay, I'm about to bring you up, Choice. Hey, Choice. Hey, lady, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So, Stephen, you wanted my opinion on what I thought about it. <laughs> the only thing that I could think about at that time when I heard her say that is that scene in Color Purple when she said, it feel like he's on top of me and doing that. Because if your wife cannot rest up from having cancer, and been removing her counsel and everything, and because of your habit, then mm -hmm. you're not the guy I need to be with. Mm -hmm. And you did this interview, and you just made both, well, Kimmy, I'm just sorry. Trendy was fighting for you. She lost the battle. I lost the battle <laughs> hard. <laughs> she lost I the battle. I really and, tried. And, and I, I, I understand that you guys, you oh, sorry, the background. Let me move out. I'm over to I'm over to mommy's house. So everybody know I always say hi to my mommy. Hopefully, this thing don't start. It's starting to blink. It better not start it's, messing up on me. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down because, like I said, I'm okay. at mommy's house. I'm gonna okay. be in the chat. I'm succeeding. I'm a hundred percent with what you said, Ladon. You said a whole mouthful for real, for real. And and Miss Pinky, mm -hmm. it is what it is. Drop the mic and walk off the stage. But I'm gonna <laughs> drop it down and let somebody else come up because. Okay. Okay, succeeding. I'm bringing you back up. 
Okay. 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 Let me make sure I got don't have no other devices going. Oops. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you you all hear me good? Yeah. No you other, sound good. No Loud and clear. Loud. Okay. So you know when you know how we've been seeing Kimmy loving this accountability. And she's been wanting to force Kaiwa to po- apologize because she feels like she is like the president mm-hmm. of the United States and she deserves this apology. Okay, so isn't that funny that she doesn't hold Maurice with that same standard? Because yes. in this interview, she <laughs> was wanting him to give her a public apology. That looked like, you know how when you, we see these couples and the man and cheated and the woman is sitting there looking uncomfortable and mm-hmm. crazy in the face? Mm-hmm. That's what this looked like. And yep. Kimmy still left not getting what she thought he was going to give a public apology. And right. he still, again, let her down. He did. He still did. He failed her. <laughs> he did. And, and when they asked her, um, because Funky asked her if she was uncomfortable, that's when she talked about his choice of word. Well, wasn't that her kind of giving him a little hint? Okay. Hey, mommy. Hi, choice of mommy. <laughs> choice designs, mom. <laughs> Real queen sugar. <laughs> right, right. Yes. Yeah, so when I thought he still is going to disappoint her, he's not going to ever show. And he's had this, think about, it, he's watched her suffer. He's watched her be sick. He's watched her not be able to get out of bed or not having yes. that desire. Yes. And he could still be okay with her cooking, yes. cleaning, just because she is doing it. Yes. And even when he sees that she's not okay, in his mind, he's one of those play reverse psychology, like, you know, some of us may do with our kids. And you got it. You, you, oh, that's so <laughs> admirable. You know, she, I thought that was great. You know, most people tell when they do something for you. Well, guess what? She just told us all on she TV. Told us. Right. <laughs> you know, so yep. she did tell. So what is so, you know, what do you what is it for you to admire? Exactly. She she has now told you. Now what? Nothing because he doesn't care. <laughs> he does not care. And they left that interview still disappointed and yes. That. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. And, we, and we're talking about Kim too, right? And oh, Yeah. Okay. So with Kim, I never believed that they were really going through. Um, I thought it was a story. Are you talking about Kim Zosiak, right? Yes. Okay. Different Kim. Just want to. Okay. Oh, yes. That, we're talking that's about, one of your topics, right? Yeah, it is. I just want to clarify okay. for anybody. They know we switched to a different Kim. <laughs> oh, I want to make. Oh, yeah. From Kimmy. Yeah, from Kimmy to Kim Zosiak. <laughs> yeah, so I was kind of, though, I wasn't as sure as I was with the Kimmy situation. With okay. the Kimmy, I was 100%. With the Kim Croy situation, I was 80-20. Okay. So 80% of me thought it was just, like, not real. Okay. And 20% of me thought, okay, is this a story? Because <laughs> she needs something to get back to reality TV. Yes, yes, she does. So just think, if she really was going through a true divorce, kind of like they described it, then there would be no good for, she wouldn't do any good on Bravo, you know, until, unless they're kind of getting along and maybe, okay, this isn't the time, Kim, wait. Wait till you get back (laughs) on TV, then show the drama. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. I can see that. I can see that. I, I thought that, Okay, so I did think they were going through a divorce. I did, and I guess it was because of the craziness of bringing up the addiction, which we could all see like that's a real possibility. I'm not so, and then also I thought Croy had woken up and finally had enough. I'm not gonna lie to you because she got, you know, he, he was young when he got with her, and I thought she really did run through all the money and everything, and which is probably still true. But he, I see he is not tired of her though. Right. <laughs> And because I she knew that. that, that's who she was. She, yeah. This is another consistent situation. It is. She, she was that change. way when they first got married. Remember her and, what's her name, Tweet? What's her, her name was Tweety? 
Oh, oh sweetie, 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 her assistant. Sweetie, yes. Yep. And about you don't hear nothing else about sweetie. sweetie anymore. Uh uh-uh. uh. And you saw them both going in and coming back out of the convenience store with all these lottery tickets. And yes. then they said he had a, a debt too. At he one did. He had a casino notes. debt, and and we were wondering, did she do it under his name or was that? Uh, That's what I was his, thinking. Yeah. Yep. I was thinking that because he kind of comes across as just this whatever you want type of guy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I had thought. And I'm thinking at this point, she might have also realized I'm with Funky D. He did say this. Who else wants her? (laughs) Big Papa sure isn't calling for her. That's true. Big Papa is. He's looking for someone younger. I was, and you know, I had said this, he's still alive, but y'all did confirm he is alive. He, yep, he is, and still with his wife. Yeah, Pinky, it was under his name, under Croy's name, that that debt was, there was one casino debt under Croy's name, and yeah, we I, thought that she had did it, but under his name, but now it's yeah. like, they just both got an addiction, it looked like. Hey, well, Aletta, <laughs> how I, I are still, you? I still think that it could be under his name, and he whatever that makes you happy and they're at mm-hmm. this you know casino and he not realizing that she's ran, ran up that amount because otherwise he would have had a lot more you know out there than just that one yeah yeah i mean he tried That's to hide true. it would have been a pattern yes yeah. <laughs> he trying to hide everything he can yes <laughs> and who, who else were we talking about okay so we got no we got, look have you heard about the amazon employee that was racked up almost ten million dollars in fraud, fraudulent stuff. They were doing it through uh, fake invoices and fake like shipping or something like that. You know what? I had not heard about that, but I'm not surprised. Let me tell you what I'm surprised about. I said, "Well, she didn't get profiled. It was she has a black woman's name. <laughs> it was like Car Kaylee Carica K." It was something. I, it was in Georgia. It was. It was you know, one they in trying Georgia. to be us these days. <laughs> I said, "Well, she didn't get profiled if they didn't catch her until after almost ten million dollars." <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know that's something, but I'm not surprised because if you've listened like to some of the interviews that some of the former employees of Amazon they've talked about security. Mm-hmm. So they mm-hmm. have some security issues. Yep, because she had a. They caught. They said a co-conspirator. I think her co-conspirator. Uh, uh, I think her name is Brittany something. But yeah, because you got to have at least one other person that's in on it with you, right? But they say what happened is when you get a sick day and people start having to check behind you, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've seen that happen at a bank actually. Oh, uh... where I worked at this bank, I worked for a couple of financial counselors advisors. And so I didn't work for the branch, but we were at the branch. Okay. And that's where our office was. And so I kept noticing these guys that looked like from one Dragnet TV show kept coming in. And they kept <laughs> taking these older people in a conference room. Okay. And I'm not one to really ask questions about people's business. But yeah. finally, someone told me that the previous branch manager had stolen <laughs> over 100 k Oh my. She had a gambling addiction. She and go. so what was happening was she was putting all this money, like when people thought their um iris were gonna um roll over, she yeah. was taking them. Oh snap. And she had all yeah, and so that's how they found out is a sick day. Like you said, she was out. And someone came in and they said, I'm not leaving this bank until I get answered to buy my mom's money. Oh, let me. So okay. Let me, you don't have, you're not on timer right now. Succeed. I was going to repeat this for who said that. Okay. There is, there, she, there was an Amazon worker. Uh, she was the operations manager out in Georgia. And she, uh, I think she's already been convicted because she's being sentenced to 16 years in prison. So I'm pretty sure this has already happened. Um, so uh, plus let me put my banner for when we talk about these other people. Okay. Um, <laughs> but who said that? So what happened is she was doing like fake invoices and something else with uh, her co-conspirator name. I believe her name was Brittany. Almost $10 million worth. They had gotten um, 
luxury real estate. She had bought like a million dollar house in Georgia. She was buying, of course, the cars. They never, they never lay low, you know, <laughs> but yeah, like she really got away with it. And I, I was trying to see how did she get caught? The story I read, I didn't see how she got caught. Let me make sure I went all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Her name was Kareka. Kareka. Yes. Yep. Let me see. Kareka. K-A-Y-R-I-C-K-A. Kareka. Um, and she had the authority oh, to approve fake vendors, vendors. multiple invoices mm -hmm. for fake vendors. And it led Amazon to pay her that money, which was $9.4 million. Um, yeah. She bought a Tesla. She, a did plead guilty. she <laughs> pled guilty. This is not a list. She already pled guilty and she's, she's getting sentenced. But I don't know how they caught her. I'm going to find somebody else's story. Cause I love to know how the person gets caught too. Yeah. <laughs> We well she look once she got that Tesla and that Lamborghini. They probably did it's like girl, you are not supposed to be able to afford this. <laughs> You're the operations manager and you roll in with a Tesla and a Lamborghini. Right. And you're 32 years old. Let's, right. You know, we can figure out how she got caught. Yes, who said that? That's a lot of money. Um, okay, since you don't have nobody behind you succeeding, I need to because Bell Collective is one of my bigger ones I wanted to talk about because I got to watch it. I put out a poll asking if y'all thought that Marie was too much into Tambra business. Cause now I feel like Tambra, you know, first of all, if Tambra had to deal like with anybody like a Martel, like a, um, heck, even a Rashid or whatever, when she was saying that the guy was really trying to bring, make her life hell just cause she didn't want him anymore. I believe that Tambra might be doing some little fibs. I'm not saying she don't be lying, but I don't think she's lying about this particular dude. And even if she is, I don't think it's Marie's business. Yeah. yeah you know, well, you know what? It's the show. So oh, if I have show. to bring my story, you going to bring yours. <laughs> oh, she do got a crazy story. Because I saw her mama coming on next episode again. You think she's just doing this to make sure she don't have the, the only one with the deepest crazy story? Because they do kind of think, you know, and I don't know Tambra. You know, I always liked her from Bring It. But they Wait, all Tamara, Tamara they, was on Bring It too. She was one of the judges. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you. Yeah, they would all. Oh, no, she was the. You know, the one that would always announce. Remember? Well, see, I didn't connect a lot of times oh, until I connect a person. I don't remember. I already saw that person. Yep. Okay. If and I can so, find old episodes, I have to go back and see. That's yeah, crazy. so I do. I kind of feel like if I'm forced to tell my story. Mm hmm. These ladies on this show are going to be forced to tell theirs. But I don't know if I believe that he's really... I don't see chemistry between her and him. Well, no, not him. I don't believe that story. Yeah. I don't believe that. But I just kind of feel like they are really kind of holding her feet to the fire. Yeah. they don't feel that she brings her realness. I wish they had just picked... I hope they're not picking a Martell-like person to, to do it. You know what I mean? Because I'm like... Right. I just don't want to see that kind of thing. Like that's don't weaponize a really basically possibly dangerous person just because you want her to have a real storyline. Like use somebody else, use the other failed relationships in the lives. <laughs> yes. But oh. yeah. So yeah. So I do, but I like, I like the show. Yeah. I like the fact that they are truly all real business women. Yes. You yes, know, I do. They're Don't, keeping me interested. I thought I was going to be bored. I thought we were going to be the same old, same old, but it is not. Yeah, I did too. Now, no, what do you think about uh, Latrice doing this whole peace treaty thing? Do you think she just trying? She has a storyline with Glenn, but I was, it felt forced. I'm like, what is going on? Well, it did feel forced until I heard his interview. No, not Glenn. That doesn't feel forced. I'm okay. talking about Latrice is oh, trying Latrice. to. I mean, not Latrice, uh, Letitia trying to play peace ambassador. Well, it kind of goes along with that's how she was in the beginning. Remember, that's, she, I, was, you know, she always did her brunches. I she don't was know, the one trying to get it. everyone to talk. You know how you have your feelings and sometimes it don't come out till later? That's what I got with, with Letitia right now on, on the, the motivation of keeping the collective and the in crowd together and all this stuff because she was like no outsiders and I don't know. It's something about it. Yeah. Well, when she says outsiders, is she talking about that Selena? lady who tried to steal her um idea? 
Possibly, but I know uh, she was I, also I, aiming at Aisha? Selena. Right. I'm thinking Aikisha. When I think of outsiders, I think Aikisha right away. She she's got us. She's doing good on holding her cool because Aikisha really did do a lot as far as shading her about Fair Street. And then you got to do a request for a proposal just like the regular person off the street. Right. And so she got on there thinking that she was going to be like smooth sailing. And she I did, keep right? running into some of the same the same thing. That she <laughs> ran into, and she owns property there, so that shows that she did not have any type of upper hand. And if it does come, you know, through for her, mm -hmm. it may be part of what Letitia did in the beginning that right paved that relationship because it's obviously nothing that Aikisha did because right. she, she's very discouraged about it not moving as yes. smooth as she Anxious, thought. You know, the was. email notification just like any other person that had to submit a proposal. Like, you don't right. know anything. Right. Um, also, that tells me like, why were you so, why were you so cocky? Because that tells me that it is a government body because that means, you know, they have to view things fairly and be very open about how they're going to choose whoever they choose to win the bid. Right. So what, what upper hand did you think you had going into this? I think she thought because of who her husband was and because of who her, you know, some people, Yeah. because my family in Florida, I had an aunt like that and she was a who you know type of person mm -hmm. where that kind of impresses them. Like my, like for instance, my cousin, she drove my friends crazy when she came to Chicago to visit. She kept calling her daughter instead of saying her name. Yeah. She kept saying, you know, my daughter's a national scholar. Oh my God. Okay. So if she didn't say that my friends were so ready, you know, my daughter's a national scholar. So some people are based on who a person is or what they do. And I think Akisha thought based on who her husband was, her mother, you know, mother slash aunt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like her, she yeah, her, was yeah. come in there and <laughs> yeah. she was just going to bulldoze the whole project and she was going to have it built in a day. And that tells me she really does only base her accomplishments off of clout because I and on the outside, and I'm gonna tell you right now, those people that choose those the the bids, they they get audited, and they're gonna have to prove why this person was the one that won the bid. And if it's off of some right. stupid stuff like that, that that person maybe not job, but it's a write up that could lead to the loss of a job, right? Because and then and then Letitia can protest because right. she's gonna see what the proposal that won and why it won, and if it doesn't make sense. Now you got a protest that still is going to hold it up and it might have to start the whole process over. Yeah, it did make sense. And I believe Pinky, her family is well known. I just think that she thought because they yeah, were. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. That it I mean, was going to be smooth sailing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But you could see it's something deeper going on in that town. And it seems like it's all about the politics. It does. Because how come if all the, and I do believe other people not just Letitia have wanted to fix up Fair Street for a long time, given its history. Why is there such a huge holdup? Yeah, I think it's the politics. Like, for instance, not saying that this is their situation. Let's Thank just you, say, Shorty. like, if you have an area downtown mm -hmm. where it's very, ex they've made it very expensive to live. Mm -hmm. And so they do it for a certain reason to keep certain people out, to keep certain elements out but mm -hmm. for some reason there's some type of hold up that everyone because it really should not if it's vacant the city should want to bring in revenue if it really makes sense to them and it really should not be that exactly different. exactly so i think it may be like for instance downtown chicago i would have to say that people that live downtown is probably i would say 90 percent well 80% white and maybe or maybe 50% white and then other cultures as well gotcha. but as far as blacks I would have to say maybe 10 to 20% hey, but they, they price it very high they make it very unaffordable yes. and I wouldn't yes. be surprised if they are doing something like that because yes. if it's vacant you should want something coming to your town 
Right. Especially with some of the issues that they're having in those neighboring cities. Right. Because honestly, I didn't know it was so bad there. That's like, right. you know what I mean? Like when they talked about mm, what happened to Marie's son's ex girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. She was sitting yes. in her car. The mother was paying a bill at T Mobile. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yes, yes. Like the like the place that Chicago is a big city. And well, I live in Indiana, but the places in Illinois that that I would not go are mm -hmm. it's very small. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's a big city, but it's very small because Chicago is filled with a lot of suburbs. And but it's very small where I wouldn't go. And I can't imagine being in an area where I can't pay a phone bill. Right. Right. And then when they started talking about all these issues, and then they have water issues, they just have yes, a lot. Of, I the googled water. the crime, and I was surprised. So you would want businesses and opportunities, and especially if you're getting investors from other states, right? You, you would think you would want that money, right? Hi, Shay B. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Yeah, so we're Shay, we're sketching and talking about some random topics, some stuff I was prompting to because I wanted to talk about, but you can throw in a topic. We just don't do politics and criticize content creators, but if you got a topic you like, hey, did y'all talk about this? You can throw it in there if you want to. <laughs> Pinky, how long have their water problems been going on? Because you know what? It wasn't until Marie talked about Josh moving in that I knew about the water problems. I knew about them like in Flint, Michigan. But I didn't know about them, you know, there. But, you know, of course, I don't know every state. But it, how long, like, has it been years? They, they might. What, do you think they've been going on one to two years now? Because okay. by the time they were filming and talking about it, I knew it before it aired on the episode. Yes. So I want to know if Shan knows the story about the Amazon story. Because, you know, Shan always knows what's going yep. on. Shan, can you, if I put the link in there, can you tap it? I know you can't type because you said you're driving. I'm going to drop the link again to see if you can catch it. Because, um, yeah, Shan, do you know about this Amazon thing? It's crazy. Oh, you know Shan knows what's going on. I know on. she knows. I'm going to call. I'm gonna put a, get a shirt made. I'm going to get a shirt. It's going to say, Shan knows. <laughs> Toys knows. Shan. Pinky knows. <laughs> Who knew no? I'm going to put all y'all names. Camera girl knows. Yeah, Camera girl, yeah. Um, <laughs> we are going to have crazy our shirt. It's still... It's crazy. And and I didn't know until it went bad about how famous they used to be for their water. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Um, but I, but I'll, I won't go too, too deep because that's going to go into the area I try to stay away from on him okay. on here. But because uh, yeah. you know how the water, you know that that's going to lead to because it's not oh, yeah. the people. So yeah, we won't talk about that. So they bought a five bedroom house near the warehouse mm -hmm. for a million dollars. So they had that Lamborghini. They had the Porsche. Yes. They had yes. the Kawasaki motorcycle. They had oh, the, the motorcycle. Durango. <laughs> Durango. They had the Tesla. They had the Pam. Wait, Panamera. Wait. Pan oh, Panamera. is it Panamera? Panamera. Yeah. They yeah, had Porsche Panamera. Yeah. <laughs> expensive jewelry. And we wonder how people do. Girl, I saw you one day you were in a Porsche. The next day you were in your Tesla. And the other day I saw you, I thought I saw you on a Kawasaki motorcycle with Ooh. your hair blowing in the wind. Oh, <laughs> then they were trying it's like to open you want to get caught. Lounge. They want to get caught. Why would you? They were trying to open a hookah lounge. Come on now, not trying to open a legitimate they business. They were trying to open a hookah. They were working what is this? on. Is this Amazon Power? Like what is this? They were working on a franchising company <laughs> to try to open a hookah lounge. Stop. Stop it. So let's see. Do they do? Is it surprised that you pled guilty? Um, mm mm. Mm mm. It, it's not at all. And they had someone that worked for loss prevention. And then they got the human resource assistant, and they, um, you know, kind of, yeah, they kind of assisted in the Amazon scheme. Yeah. And they were flashy, Shan. 
she could have given herself a good old solid, probably 200K a year living comfortably. Because that's reportable. You can still kind of do that. (laughs) So the HR assistant was involved also. Uh, But think about that. If the HR assistant takes another job or they they get just audited themselves, it's too much. I would never risk this. I couldn't. So the HR person, as well as the loss prevention person, were involved. They gave her social security numbers <laughs> that, that were used fun. to create some <laughs> fake phony vendor accounts. Oh, yes. That's so silly. Okay, y'all, I'm going to put a poll up because I want to know, because when I put it in Patreon, I need to know, do y'all like the dark bold line or keep it more without that? Because it has a comic look to it with the bold line. But I'll put it, I'm going to put a poll up too. Cause I'm. Oh, you know what? No, just answer in the chat. Cause I, I agree, Pinky. It adds delay. It adds a delay. They, yeah, wanted, they wanted to, to go to jail. I don't know. I guess but that's what they say that you get cocky. You get real cocky after you don't get caught after a little bit. Okay, y'all. Here's the bold line. Let me know. Okay, so it has a more pop comic feel with the lines on there. I also can probably just. Well, no, I don't know. I'm. Gonna, you like the bold line, Pinky? Okay. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it reminds you of Storm. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to keep that deep skin tone. Sometimes I take inspiration and it's not the same skin tone always. Yeah. But this one, I'm like, that, that, what did, what color did y'all call this? Teal? What did y'all say? But whatever color that is, that pops so much on that skin. There's no other yeah, color like that would have done it justice. <laughs> no lines, Shavy. Oh, snap. Go Maybe this, some, go, I might have to see both, both of them again. Okay, okay, here's it. Bold line. Here's bold line. Now we're gonna take off the bold line. Hold on. I gotta find my layer. I'm so glad I did start learning how to, uh, or I started labeling my layers. Okay, here we go. No line. Okay, I, okay, I like the no line. Okay, bold no line. line. <laughs> okay, let's see. No line. Let's go back to the no line. No line. I like the no line. Okay, okay. No okay. Line. <laughs> because you People know what? Said bold. <laughs> I yeah. might have to put both versions up because I didn't I know was I was going to actually yeah. be okay. Okay. Y'all, if you do end up joining my Patreon, I only made, it's a $5 tier. It's one tier. If you do, you get everything that I create on Sketchy Saturdays. You can download it for yourself. Down, You can get a copy for yourself. And it's not an extra charge to go download it. It's just a link to go download it. You're not going to get charged again. Karma Girl said no line. Okay, I'm going to have to do two versions. Now, it's kind of like the baby blue to me more baby so. Baby blue. Tiffany sky blue. blue. Yeah, because Tiffany is more like a um like a aqua, as they used to call it, okay. aqua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got a cake. That was our, our old company's colors. And I got a cake design. And it looked like a stack of boxes. Okay, okay. But I do like okay. that blue. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I make like my, that I'm gonna make myself a note. Well, oops, we'll do both. I'll have both versions. It'll probably be two separate links. But if you do go, if you join my Patreon again, you don't have to pay for it again. It's just that if you're a patron, you get to go back and download any that I've done. This will be number three, in case you're wondering. This will be the third one. And how and, did you and, get into this? Well, I've always liked art, but I got back into it because. You know, I got to give hubby credit. He taught me how to use, how to draw in Photoshop. So I I sketch traditionally too, but Photoshop does give you a certain type of freedom. So, and and I I was drawn to lips when I got back into drawing. So lips have been like my signature, but I do do other things uh, a lot of times too. But lips are just like, I could just kind of crank them out easier. (laughs) They're harder. It's hard if someone's like, can I do a custom lip? Because now I'm like, Oh God, please! I hope they like them. But if I can just draw whatever I want to draw, if they I can crank them out like nothing a lot of times. <laughs> and what would you draw? What's your favorite thing to draw? Oh, let me find. I would love to show you. I love to actually draw uh, pe- people. Um, I'm still learning how to draw the full body, but there's a portrait. Right now, I'm I'm doing okay with portraits, and I I drew like a green um, girl with locks. Because I was, it was when She Hulk first came out, and I loved everybody was using the TikTok filter to to look green, and black women were looking so good as a green character. Nice. And I was like, oh, I gotta try to do something. So I'm gonna try to find a version of it if I save it on my computer. But that's my favorite. Her full face is my favorite, but they're harder for me, so I don't draw them as often. Now, when you see um like Blue Monday, you know that mm-hmm. art, does that inspire you? Hold on, let me. I gotta Google it. I don't know what. 
Hold Let's, on. Okay, what is Blue Monday? It's a painting by Annie Lee. Hold on. The one that um Lizzo, you, she did like a um they did a tribute. She did a tribute oh, to the Chicago. Oh, it's like it's like the the and I know this is not the artist name, but it it reminds me it's the good good times artist that's honestly oh, famous yeah. outside yeah. of good times. Okay, that. I appreciate art like that, but it does. I that's not my style, if that makes sense. Like I can yeah. appreciate it, but it's not my style. Um, I hope I can find my little thing. But yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. I you get inspiration from so many places. That's why I like to show y'all my references too, so you can see the color and skin tone came from the first part, but then the lip position came from something else. And then when I was trying to figure out how to do a skin tone. Uh, I needed that black and white one there to show me how to make a lip pop out from its own skin tone, you know? Right. So, yeah, I get inspired from a lot of different things, though. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, why you didn't tell us to bring our wine? Look, oh, okay, okay, you know what? Next Saturday, y'all have your wine, okay? <laughs> we had, look, this is the, this is the, it's not my, okay, the black and white lips were my first one and it actually went smoothly then i had rough patch the second time still drew them so they're still available and then this time it's just gone really well so i'm excited but yes next time we're gonna wine we're gonna have our wine and yes. we'll do a live sketch <laughs> now did you say that you're inspired by like the good times type of art um regularly no but i appreciate so many art types that i can see the beauty in it but it doesn't like if, if i'm gonna pick up and draw that's not what made me pick up my pencil to draw it's for me it's not but yeah. it's just something i just my eye appreciates it though if you all have time to google that piece, that guy sold it. that piece that art sold for 15.3 million dollars oh my gosh but if you all have time to look at that I looked at that with new eyes and okay. there's so much going on in that piece. Hold on, I'll put a I'll pull it up too so everybody can see it. Let me try to find um it shows no. you even Braz the butts that women are paying for is even in this art. Wow. And is it specifically the Blue Monday or just look at the artist herself? Just the artist, the art. um Ernie okay. Burn Sugar Shack good times okay oh look at those fingers sorry I <laughs> she must type like 90 words a second. <laughs> stop i forget i got a mechanical key where i forget you can hear every key stroke <laughs> my, my friends call me google <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting it up, y'all. I found it. Hold on. I'm trying to find my stream yard tab again. You bring your candies? Okay. Shaby, I like yeah. sipping Saturdays. What kind of so, candies? Do you know what kind of candies choice what choice got? The kind oh, you Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna take down this one and then let me add. And somebody had me cracking up. I think it's Karen Girl. She said her um she she's like me. I'm not an artist either. So I really appreciate people that do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But y'all see what I mean? Like, look at the lady in that yellow. Yeah. Is that what we not seeing women pay yes. for? Yes. 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 It That's is a exactly. lot going on in this art and this soul for over fifteen million dollars. Wow, wow, wow. At an auction. Wow. And are you able to pull up um Lizzo with Blue Monday? Yes, I saw that. Let me get it back. It yes. is so beautiful. And and I tell you this, I used to sell art for a company um as a as a side business because I wanted to have like art. Mm -hmm. That was a piece, Annie Lee, we could not keep any of her art. That one on the left. And I always wonder, because I don't really like that one on the left. I, mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't like it at all. I would, wouldn't have that particular piece. I have Annie Lee art, but I just don't appreciate that. But that num was her number one seller. 
called Blue Monday. Everyone could identify with that, they said. It's probably different emotions depending on how you're seeing or feeling things, too. Because that's a that pose can mean so many you things. You see Pinky? Yeah, and it was the number one seller for women. And you look at Lizzo. I mean, she did a great she job. She did. She did. She, she definitely did. I mean, she brought it. Yep. She brought it to life. Wow. Yeah, she brought it. And that's what I think of um, when I, um, you know, hear you talk about your inspiration is yeah. just like things like that, how that inspired her and yeah. how you're inspired by different things. So yes, yes. we look forward to seeing all the different things that you're going to be doing. Thank you. Thank you. Because we, I can't find my green girl, but I do have a different one just to show a face, but it isn't. <laughs> Who is a hard to follow after this? <laughs> but yes. Oh, I got but even those lips, you. because I tell you, that's something, and take that seriously because you don't know where that could go because there's a I'm place a in Miami. And when we went on a tour, mm -hmm. people somebody used Sharpie to make these. And now Sharpie hired this person who was just a regular everyday poor person wow. and they got a contract with them <sighs> that's what you know what I, I can't act like and say I don't hope for that because that's that's why I'm starting to try to share it with y'all because I do want my art out there you know so yeah I, I definitely obviously there's some kind of hope in me to yes for something to happen support the greens I agree yes. with you yeah. yeah, so that's one of my. Now I drew that with a pencil and then transferred it to Photoshop to add the color, but that's from my sketch pad. But continue with that because, like, look at some of the art that people have that's out there with lips, like with it, you know, inspired by yeah. that. Yeah, like I saw one with diamond in between the teeth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Well, I don't know if you're talking about me, but yes, thank yeah, you. I, I have, have some with those. Art right there. I can't even draw a straight line. <laughs> I went I to can't all draw a straight line. Catholic high school. Let and me tell you what. At me. Not much is a straight line. I cannot draw a straight line. You can you so you'll be good. There aren't there really aren't any straight lines. <laughs> I mean, I can't draw like well, I made this Thank painting you, Pinky. and and it came out good, but I'm not a good artist at all. You know what? It is practice. It it is practice because I, I will. I have to show y'all some of my fails someday too, so that way y'all can. It's practice, and you're it still not beautiful. good on the ones just, once you mine get good. Mine look like that. My <laughs> one eye will be where that lip is, and the other. I'm just, you know, we have to know what we're good at. Yeah, that's yes. just not my. You ask, you know, that's just not my thing. That is gorgeous. right. Yes, Carmen Girl, I, I drew this on in a physical sketch pad, and then I took a picture of it so I could add it to Photoshop to add the color. Cause I didn't want to mess up the original in case I didn't like the color. So yeah, but all the black and black, gray, white, that's my, that's my pencil. That's just me. <laughs> yeah. You should, you should really consider that and consider everything that you're doing for something bigger. I'm going to try. I, look, I'm putting it out here to y'all. Hold on. You, let me you add. You know what I mean? Like, I'm adding you up. I'm not going to be doing this all the time, but I know y'all. Okay. I'm going to let y'all cause nobody else is, we over here just talking about art and stuff. So. Yeah. I like that. I mean, cause I love the, okay. So I was drug all my life to the art Institute in Chicago. So I really am into art. I'm okay. I'm just not an okay. artist, but I'm really into art. And I really like that. Thank you, Arletta. Thank you, Succeeding. Yeah. The y'all are here because y'all are like a safe space. You are. So <laughs> I know it may not always stay that way, but y'all are my safe space. <laughs> okay, since, okay, you see what? Okay, so can you say her name? So Karma I girl. Say, I say Karma girl, but I don't know how you. Karma, okay, Karma, Karma girl. girl. Put it in phonetically. How are you supposed to pronounce your name? Yeah, I'm over here so saying Karma girl, correct. like like how Karma can come around. Okay, Karma so girl. seeing this, what she just wrote made me think of this with a coin with a crown on it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And think about little girls' bedrooms. Think about taking your art to a different level, like that could be in people's homes. Now, I I will say I, I, I had and I paused my store. I had a store. At least I had pillows and stuff like that. Um, 
but I put it on pause because I was like, I don't think I'm in the right space yet. Hopefully that's where I'm getting to now. But yes, I promise you succeeding. We're on the same page. Okay, well, think about what was said on the um where we were last night. And what she what um QD said about 50% and Melody's comment she about did say that she said she was only giving 50% and look how far she is. Correct. She said, think so, about if I'm actually giving my all. So think about that. Write that down in your journal and meditate on that. Yeah. And You're then right. and then so don't then you won't go back to I'm not in the right space. True. Because I'm just not. It's okay, you're right. You're right. It's gonna be you creating your space. I love yeah. her. I love her. <laughs> you you are everything is you. You have to tell yourself that every day. You have to tell yourself, I am because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes. me. There's not right. anything I can't do because think about it. You did not think you would be doing what you're doing now. You're right. Y'all, I don't know how y'all found me. <laughs> and remember, I was, oh, that's because through Black Titanic. And yeah, so, she did, she did, she did. <laughs> yeah, and so you didn't think, remember when Choice Designs and I were trying to convince you to um, that we could talk? You did. I, I was like, no, guys. No. <laughs> I got tired of typing. And she said, look, my, hand, my hands are getting tired. And Trina. you were like. I'm not really, you know, but then just think after two weeks of doing that, we have to be okay as women and yeah. hold each other accountable to do what's uncomfortable. If it's getting us in a good direction and go back to your store and go back to what you can do and think about Melody and think about how she's done things. And also I want you all like it that are trying to launch a business to go to SCORE, all capital letters, if you're not familiar okay. with it. And SCORE will help you to write a business plan. They will give you a mentor. There's no cost. Mm, mm, mm. She is just full of information. There are her. resources out there for us. And we have to share, you know, just as a culture, being open to share those things and go back to that. And when you open that store, it's going to be totally different because you're not the same place. You're much more confident. True. Thank, and thank you, Pinky. Thank you, Karma Girl. Thank you, Shay, Keisha, Choice, of course. Thank you. Thank you who said that. I want to hear what you all have done to step outside of y'all comfort zones. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, Shan, I just came up here right <laughs> quick just so I could talk because y'all had me researching while I was when I stopped when I stepped in the house and I got company. But I was like, let me what go kind of look. company? Okay. Look, your sisters. Are kids. <laughs> My grandkids. Ooh, oh, you got fun company. <laughs> we just came back. Well, from spending probably my <laughs> we just came back from spending my money, what they like to do. Yeah. And you know, do. I give it about about three or four minutes before they come in here and want to start talking to me. Of so course. I was looking up the Amazon stuff because that was interesting to me because I'm like, wow, that was a girl See, when I started get... naming them cars. <laughs> we get greedy though, y'all. Yes. That's the problem. We get greedy because she was getting away with it because they I, I I read it from the Justice Department. Right. I went and found something from the Justice Department along with that other article I just put in there. And reading it, see the thing about the Justice Department that I like, they're not gonna tell us how they found out. But oh no, I'm they're never gonna tell the line that. because I know how they find out when I read between the lines because when she purchased those vehicles, correct, they flag you. Mm. I know that oh, yeah. and, because and I got know that. Yeah, I got flagged paying college tuition. So I know oh, yeah. you get flagged because we were moving money around. And it doesn't Didn't... take a lot to be flagged. People don't, I, look, I know Pinky know. Pinky done been flagged. Pinky got flagged when she bought that lawnmower, I bet. Ooh. <laughs> it, because, you know, people don't, and I said this on another channel, people don't realize it's not a whole lot. It's $5,000 plus. And see me with my smart self. I looked it up, and I got, I got, I know people that work for the Federal Reserve, and I've been all up and through the legal system. So I'm thinking I'm smart because I don't want to answer any questions about my money. That's what I don't want to do. So I call myself breaking it up 
So I'm gonna pay it like this, and that way, when it's all said and done, nobody's gonna write. I paid cash for tuition. Well, that flash school you. reported me. Yeah, that, the you, school reported. reported because you made a cash transaction, and that's what I'm saying. Anything five thousand plus. Your flag. See, that was part of. I worked at a bank. Mm. You were, that's part of our compliance. It was part of our compliance test. Um, and so you are flagged the moment you pay cash. And that's why, if you notice, if any of you follow another content creator, she was saying how she went to buy this car and she was kind of this truck and she was walking us through this process. Now I was surprised actually when she said she was paying cash because I kind of thought, okay that was kind of known and she went on to tell how the guy told her not to do it that way but i was surprised she didn't know you know that because they send a report and you may not know that you're because they don't tell you the teller is not going to say we have flagged you there is a report with your name that is sent and they are watching you at that moment and that mm -hmm. that was my next part to the story they started they watched us and I tell people all the time, just even being in law enforcement, I know that they will watch you and let you rack up fifteen million dollars. And they watched me buy two cars. We didn't spend cash, but I did it very crafty because I don't like to pay interest. Remember, we were talking about that in there. So I put a little money down, and I and I financed part of it. And then I, before a certain amount of time, where they hit you with that big APR. I paid it off. Right. This is during them watching me, which I didn't even know they were watching me. Oh yeah. They were they they flagged that. Two years later, I went back to my dealership, took about five thousand dollars and got a new car because my daughter went to college and all this stuff is around the same time. And I'm like, I won't probably be able to get another car because she in college. So let me go on and drop this money because I'm paying for tuition. Let me get me a new car because you know, I'm going to drive this for about five years. And I paid it off, like, right then and there. So I ran back in, got that car, gave them 5000 They took my car off. And the 5000 I got a brand new, same car, just a few years, a, a year, two years later. They flagged that. Do you know when they, who, who was it who contacted us? We got contacted by the Secret Service, I believe okay. it was. It was one of those. It wasn't the IRS, but it was like the secret service. Yeah, it wouldn't because... be the IRS because, see, it's part of that Bank Secrecy Act. And so when they are trained, those tellers are trained. The minute you make a cash withdrawal over $10,000, they're trained. And they are reporting you. And you are reported to two different agencies at that point. And the funny part about it was, they couldn't account for where my money came from. I could, because at that point in time in my life, this was a while, a, a long time ago. I'm, you know, my kids are what, right. I'm, I got my grandkids over here. So, um, I didn't trust banks because at one point they took money out of one of my accounts for some fraud that they thought was me. So somebody sees one of my bank accounts and I was like, never again, because it took them like a year to give me my money back. So what I would do when I got my check from work, I took all my money off the bank. Yeah. And it took me a long time to trust them again. Right. So literally, I, I, I can say this now because I ain't got it in here no more. But right. literally, at one point in my life, I had $65,000 in my house. Right. And literally, people don't realize. And cash. And cash. Because I did not trust them. And I was like, mm. I don't trust these banks. But it was literally the money that I was saving for college because since my son had just got out, I knew how much we was going to have to pay. Right. So when it came time for her to go, all I had to do was go to my stash. Right. And they couldn't account for my money because it wasn't like I was taking out five, ten, whatever. Oh, yeah, it was like when I got it. paid, mm -hmm. I took out a couple here, a couple there. My husband took out a couple from his here there. And this is what we were doing because he was laughing at me because I did not trust banks because mm -hmm. I just... I, and, you know, back in the day when they used to take your money, they used to just take it. And everything is so computerized now that it probably would be quicker. But, you know, back then it was a paper trail and a this and a that. And I, uh-uh. So, finally, yes. I, 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 I did the transactions with the school. 
and the cars all this happened within a four year almost five year span yeah do you know they came to me with like you said a report mm -hmm. of every transaction right not exactly. just cash but every transaction i have made, and this is well before we in the computer system like correct right this was well before all yeah. of that they came to me with every transaction that's because that's that started in 1976 Ooh. that that act started that caused all of that and to answer your question care my girl it's because they want to make sure that your money was acquired in a good way it's for people to prevent money laundering so it's mm -hmm. tax evasion mm -hmm. and money laundering so that's why it's two different acts that are and identity theft and identity theft well, the, their reason is not identity theft. Their reason is specific to money laundering and yes. tax evasion. Yes. And that's but, why they have so many agencies that are involved. Because you know how anytime there's a cash <laughs> withdrawal, but 5000 triggers it. And then that 10000 is another threshold. Yes. And then if you deposit a large amount in the bank, you also are triggering another mm -hmm. one because my friend's sister sold the car she doesn't know how much and i said something that made her think of that they didn't tell her what was going on but she noticed something strange with her accounts and they said oh everything is fine when she would call customer service and mm -hmm. i said to my friend that's because her account has flagged mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I read this article and it made me think back to that. And I was like, she got flagged yep. first. Oh, yeah, she was flagged. The car. Because when, also we bought two houses about 15 years ago. And we had to show them where every penny came from. Oh, yeah. From. They definitely every care. Every plug, nickel. Had to show them where it came from. And my husband was furious because at one point he had to go write a check from his account to my account and all this other stuff. Because they the person was like, we have to do this because if we don't, they're going to come back. And so right here, I'm reading this article. Right. First of all, you got too many people involved in this. First of you all. Have a lot, yeah, but their flags were those. When I named those yeah. cars and yeah, I said the how car in the house. with those, car, those cars yeah. were what initiated it. And then they bought that million dollar property and they just had a whole trail in their income and they could just like what's going on now with a and people a lot of people i know all of you know but a lot of people think it's only three credit agencies they think it's just you know the three we talk about transunion equifax and experion they don't know about lexus nexus sage stream core logic alliant credit co and all those things and they add an entire file and if you ever request your credit report from them you may think that if you've ever fixed anything that was incorrect on your other three you better re correct it on those others because those others make your credit report look small because they have every accident that you've been involved in any lawsuits mm -hmm. that you've been involved in they have anyone that you have done anything to and that's why with this thing when simone the attorney you were talking about this i know trending when simone talked about this particular we won't talk about this person mm -hmm. and um bankruptcy you know odd we won't even use the word that's why they used all of those triggers because the department of justice and so many organizations get involved and people think they're being slick, but you can't out. My mom, you said the saying, you can't out slick the slick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just waiting to have enough to make it worth it to go after you most of the time. Right. Exactly. Because the feds do not pick up small potatoes. They wait till mm -hmm. you get in the millions like her. And then right. the crazy part was, I did not realize, succeeding, did you, that the big, the hookah bar came oh, while yeah. she was on bond? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she she did it after the fact. Right, she was right. already on bond from Correct. the nine million when she did. Oh it. no! And she I was, was like, still what? out there being slick and still trying to with that franchise. She was already had already yes, yeah. She was on bond. I was wondering why she got so many years, and right. that's why. Because that's why. while she was on bond, <laughs> that's when she went to right. try to do another 
2.7 million right. in fraudulent stuff. And I'm like, girl, did you not learn when you sit up there and they were throwing on the right. big numbers at you? I'm like, karma girl, what? <laughs> yeah. So when so you know how like um I know you all watch Simone. So when they say how the court feels when they think you're making a mockery of them, she mm -hmm. was making a mockery of them at that point. Like, okay, Golly. I think y'all did something to me. I'm still out here in these streets. I'm in the hookah by now. Silly. And you know what that led me to believe? I, I I was like, when I read the name, like she said earlier, because, you know, I popped on right when you was talking right. about it, And you were like, I was looking at the name like, oh, she she one of us. And I was, nope. <laughs> that happened, I'm like, yeah, that nope. tells me who she is to do something yep. like that. Tells me. But I also want to say, like, I've seen here, because over, you know, the, pan the pandemic spurned a lot of stuff. So right. I've mm -hmm. seen late uh, here lately where they have allowed people to like them. They started in 2020. She didn't get called to the carpet until 2020, the end of 2022. So okay. they let, I saw a case on our news here where they let this group of people, they were swiping, stealing people's identities. They followed them for two and a half years and let them rack up millions in what they were doing. And I'm like, why y'all just didn't bust them at the beginning? <laughs> they don't, like, yeah, they don't move that fast like that. They they tend to sit back. And you know what? Because um, I know someone who uh, worked for the FBI and they watch and they watch. And we think of, we don't even think of like the FBI as like regular people that we know. And they watch. And some of them, that's what their job is. It's just listening to phone calls, listening to tapes. I mean, this stuff doesn't start. So I'm going to tell you all, the show that we started off talking about, we're going to see some things happen. Because look at all the different reality shows and those people that have been on it that have been caught. Like, look at Teresa and her husband. And think about it. Teresa, she signed her name. And she went. Mm -hmm. And when we were talking on that other blog that I was, you know, telling you all about that we did on bankruptcy fraud, on that particular one, there was a woman. She filed bankruptcy in California, I'm almost sure. And she had a house in, in France. She didn't put the house on there. Oh, and that leads us to another one succeeding. Our girl Tasha. Yeah, that's the name I wouldn't say on here. <laughs> I didn't want her coming. Look, I didn't want her coming for. Yeah, and and Simone oh, really broke knows, it but down. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, what people don't realize is if you. Why did I? Why did I think time, Tasha Scott just now? I was thinking of Rocky and Tasha. Uh, yeah, Tasha Scott. Yeah, keep that. <laughs> yeah, keep that. Yeah, but keep that one. <laughs> I was thinking because me, I don't even I like follow that. that person. But right, just knowing what I know about courtrooms. Yeah, when you get in front of a bankruptcy judge, right, and they feel like, like you just said, if they feel like you and see federal judges can be real petty. I right. know that I, I've, I've witnessed it. They petty, Betty ain't got nothing on them. So if you get in front of them and they feel like you trying to play them like they stupid. Right. Mm. Oh, child. And then they say them other three letter people, a couple of them were sitting in there too. Oh, right. Honey. And you, she, and she really is been... trying to play them like they're stupid because you've now they told you don't sell sugar, honey, iced tea. Don't move sugar, <laughs> honey, iced tea. And you have decided I'm going to my husband. A whole I'm business. I'm gonna give <laughs> get rid of the business. We are gonna have a new name, and I'm gonna get an app. That's an app. The TK app. Oh my god! Yeah, they changed it, and then I think somebody told them and changed it back. Yeah, it's changed back now. <laughs> Cause she had changed it to her. You know, she it seemed she changed it around the court time to the other name and now it's back to the original name oh my gosh <laughs> and so she did all of this stuff you know after the fact and it's kind of like 
And then she, you know, posts this picture. And even if she was joking, you're standing in front of a bank and you're mm -mm. advertising and you don't think you're going to raise any flags. Mm -mm. I took all my money and I sent it. Mm -mm. It's a mm -mm. She should fire her lawyers because her attorneys should tell her, we going to just let them dismiss. I don't think anyone not tell even her gonna... anything, though. Because oh, if you move look, forward I'm so in slow. This, okay. <laughs> Shan, don't say nothing else. <laughs> I'm like the Amazon lady over the house. <laughs> when yeah. I tell you, okay, let it <laughs> drop it just in oh, case. Okay. <laughs> just yeah. in case. I'm so, I am over here just catching up, y'all. Hilarious. Oh, the only thing I'll say is just when you go to court, don't play with them people. Right. Gotcha, That's gotcha. It. Gotcha. Just don't play with them people. And this lady in the Amazon case, she played with them people because honestly, even though she owes so much money, I believe she might have, if, if she doesn't have a criminal record, which I'm pretty sure she don't for to be up the food chain in Amazon, mm -hmm, they probably mm -hmm. would have given her less than five years. Well, in and, and, and feds, you only got to do 75% anyway with good time or whatever. So if they'd have gave her 10 years, she wouldn't have had to do that much. But I think they would have been along the lines, if I'm remembering the um, when they do the guidelines, it probably would have been like, five to some big stupid number because but of see, how much she money crossed it is. some other lines because she's using social security numbers she has wire fraud she has all types of fraud in hers mm. yeah but her big thing they would have let i've seen see if she wouldn't have done the the, the hookah bar she probably would have been able as a first time offender they would have they would have not slapped her on the wrist because of the dollar amount, but she wouldn't be doing all this time. You know because, what? It depends on the company because the company, you know, they yeah, it depends on how the company feels about it. Because you know, because, they could bring their own. Think of it about it though, but she didn't defraud just them, the company. Right. That that was her out because I saw somebody do this with a grocery store out here where they was doing some similar stuff, but it wasn't just the store that they did it to. They did it to the people. So the, right. the I don't know if it was in the article that you read, but the one that I read from the Justice Department says that they bought identity. Yeah. Y'all y'all are doing good. I gotta step away real fast. So just keep going. Just in case you don't hear me, that's why. And she got in the HR assistant gave her social security number. So at that point, exactly. now the company has to tell these people you have been uh affected by this person, and they have to actually report that to them anytime that and they have to tell them who and what. And so now that company has opened themselves up for potential lawsuits. So it's it's just a lot. Yeah, but I've seen the only thing, the only difference I believe is the part about where it affected the people. The courts don't generally put as much stake into fraud on the person as they do the businesses. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's and that kind of makes me mad because... Yeah, because the when, business and they push them but right. the people who your now your name is screwed up and you got to do all this yeah stuff. but those social security numbers you've messed with the credibility but it's not only the company it's who oversees the companies because i work at a hospital and anytime that there is anything where there is identity and we had it in, at the bank as well that's how i know about you know because that was part of our compliance session you have to, you're accountable now because you have given out people's social security numbers. That's big. But you That's know what? The Justice Department thing. did what you read say where they got. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. If y'all can hear me, I'm here, but I didn't say anything. But I'm reading. It says that she bought the identity. So did what but, you read say she got them from. The company or did she, she also buy had from? two people that worked at the company one okay. that was in loss prevention and one mm -hmm. that worked in the hr department and they gave her numbers because remember she's creating these fake vendors right so she was also creating that so anytime you have that that's why target everybody they were 
you know, they lost so much integrity based on that. And it costs them so much money and it costs banks a lot of money with that whole credit, with that card, that card situation too. Okay. Cause I was wondering if she was giving the HR people and the other person, the fake stuff to put, cause it says on here that they were entering the, the stuff that she gave them into the system. Right. So but I they was were wondering with her. Right. I was wondering, was were they entering? Because it doesn't, it, and they're not, like I said before, they're not telling us the whole story because they don't want us to know what was actually right. being done so some fool don't get out here and do it. Right. But it's given enough information for me to think that maybe she was having them in HR and loss prevention and stuff enter the fake stuff. Right. But they knew. Because, see, I'll tell you this. When at a bank, if there's any company that you do business with at any company, because they will request our W, our, um, our, we have 10 different hospitals that we own under our hospital. They want the document they because it's still part of that paper trail. And so anytime you're doing business, you still have to produce those W-9s. And when you're not able to produce them, then that's going to bring up some flags. Because I'll tell you this, I had someone, we I was in the department at the bank where we managed the credit card portfolio for the bank. And I had someone that was doing brownies for me for an event. And she worked there. And I hired her, I knew she had a business, to make a 1,000 brownies for me for a kickoff that we were doing for one of our new credit card products. And she, they were really serious about that. My bank was, the bank was Canadian owned. They did mm. not, I asked her before, are you a vendor? Have you, and she told me she was. However, her documents were not up to date. And it took her a while to get her money because you have to have those documents in order. So even if they're giving you that fake information, they verify those W-9s. It is a check and balance type of system there, you know, just to kind of make sure that that money laundering, that all of that is not occurring. And mm -hmm. so she was not able to produce it right away. And she was upset with me that it took a while. And the first question I asked her prior to me, you know, even doing the contract was, are you set up in the system? And succeeding. When you finish this, I want to ask Shan about bill click. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, let me say one last thing about this that I'm reading because this article is super long. But one last thing about this is she, she had more stuff than you said succeeding. She had the 2019 Lamborghini, 2021 Durango, 2022 mm -hmm. Tesla, 2018 Jeez. Porsche, a Kawasaki. Yep. She had cash, and she also had the uh, the more. She had more cars. That's just some of them. Right. And she also had that million dollar home in Smyrna, yep. and also going down a little bit further, she recruited somebody from another Amazon in Duluth, Georgia. Right. Like it wasn't just her building. So this was operating out of multiple places. Right. That person had set themselves up as a business. Yep, that part. Yeah. But I I mean this this Yeah, so I didn't go into all of it, but yeah, that because it seemed like no one knew, you know, really was they were just like us and shocked at the story. Yeah, so that person had a business like a distribution business mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. So that person was doing business that she set up in a building. Right. That was close back. And the reason why she got caught on bond was because they were checking the funds. Right. And they caught they contacted <laughs> right. Amazon fraud department. <laughs> right. Because she drew up fraudulent paperwork saying her charges was dismissed. I was like, oh well, they Lord. and they know that they were not because they knew they weren't. Because like I said, when I tell you. A person that has done criminal activity, it is in those, you know, those other companies I named, Lexus, Nexus, Sage, Stream, Core Logic, Alliant, Cred Co. It is in those reports, arrest, things of that nature. So she, she could say it, but they know it's not true. And they charged her on that too, on that, um, on the hookah deal. That's just, not, they just haven't. 
went into them yet, started them yet, because this like really just happened, right. like literally. So, child. So you always lot. request your <laughs> copies of those other credit reports and see what you and tell them to send you paper. Don't let them send you a link to go on your computer. Tell them to send you paper copies of those other credit reports and have those, if you're ever repairing anything on your credit, have them to freeze those other credit reports because that's where um, TransUnion, Equifax, mm. and Experian will get some of their information from are these other agencies, especially when okay. you're buying a house. Yeah, I've had that Lexus Nexus report, and child, let me tell you, when I had oh child, mine was they had stuff on there, and I had to get that fixed because they right. had stuff on there with that what is wasn't even mine. It was like family members. Right. And I'm like, no, you will not put this on me. We had I had no, I was not even in the country. Yep. Because not I I was in the military. I I did a lot in my 50 years on this earth. So right. Um, you sound no. like people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm really y'all in. I'm really y'all. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm, re I'm ready okay. for Bell Collective now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Just in case, because I like the education, but I know I have to keep the topics rotating. So I want to ask you, Shan. Okay. Um. First thing is, do you think Marie is putting twenty on ten with Tamra stuff, or do you think it's a show and? That's just what she should be doing. I'm have to agree, disagree with my homegirl. I heard that too. She need to leave Tambra alone because when I, I remember I watched Bring It Too, and I, I when she said that, I'm like, yeah, that was her. <laughs> I remember her announcing and stuff with her and the J guy. I can't think his name, but yeah, I'll call him J. Yeah, and I'm like, um, I'm like, oh my god, leave Tambra alone because. I feel like Marie needs something. She has nothing going on. She don't want to talk about her kids. She don't want to talk about her ex. So she all up in somebody else's business. Mind your own. You bring something to the table. Because even if Tambra's relationship is fake, which I don't think it is, but even if it is, that's her business. If she want to bring a fake one to the, to the table. And I don't think she's doing anything with her partner from the um, studio, um, from the station. I think he just her work friend, her work, her work best so either. Like now, they've been I, working yeah. together so long. Like I had a guy that I worked with when we when we did stuff. Our hug, my husband, his wife. You know, we all came together right. and did stuff. We just was that close, and it. But it was a, it was a, it happened to be a guy. Right. Now, I okay. think Marie should mind the business that pays her because what about you, Marie? All we know is you dated Mister. <laughs> we know we, well, we know about her mom. Yeah. Her well, mom she, and mind and mind your own business. You bringing your mom in. Thank you for telling us your story. Which that, sorry to say, but that is not an uncommon story in uh, in our culture. Yeah, you know, and Why it's sad that you, you even had to go through that. It was uncommon for me. I no, I, I think we didn't have it, but you know, we've seen it a lot. But let me okay, I let me ask you this though. Before. Um, you say you have not seen it before? I have not seen that before. Like oh. uh, until Marie, um, and some of them on these shows have talked about Tiffany talked about what happened to her. I had not personally seen it. Oh, wow. I don't have okay. Right. No, I haven't been close to a family member to see it. I have not, I've just seen other people's stories. Well, I will tell you guys, both my parents. And really? I am a I am an exception to the rule because right. I never went that route. I right. always was on the up and up. Ooh. And I lived in that world for a really long time till I was about 19. That's when I dipped out and went out and never went back. And did what wow. you did. And then, and then started yeah. working on the justice system side. Right. Girl. And, then, and just think story. about it. Quick you story for y'all too. I wanted to work for the FBI. How, how, guess why I didn't though? They flagged why? me. They oh, me. oh, with because, the with the uh, security clearance part of it, or yeah, because at the time my brother was doing fed time, yeah, and I didn't know that. Mm. I didn't know y'all was gonna penalize me because oh yeah, they will. What he doing? They will but, check yeah. your family. They will ask your neighbors questions. Yes, so I made I made it to that part. I, I thought I had the job. I was ready. No, they flagged me because of my background check because 
my father and my brother. They they flagged me because it was they said it was too close. And then but I'm they like, told you why? Because like this lady on WB, I listen to talk radio. They didn't tell her why. She has gotten every degree there is. This woman is off the chart, off the chart intelligence, and they have not. And she's lived like in forests and just done all these things in other countries and they will not accept her. And they have her, her, everything went through well with the neighbors, you know, all the questions they asked and they won't tell her why they won't accept her. That's mm. a flag in itself. And she needs to be careful because yeah. I, mean, <laughs> yes. yeah, and I don't like, know if it was why. because. Yeah, because I was I was working and and at this time I was working in the law enforcement community because when I when I came back from the military I knew like I wanted to be an MP but it ended up doing that but I knew like I wanted to go that route when I came back so I had made sure that I went that way so the way that I got told is because where I worked and that's where I get a lot of my information from I work in Detroit and if you work in Detroit everything back then was a task force. I knew people with the IRS. I knew people with the child support building. I knew people and, and ICE was just being developed and all that. I knew people all over the place. Right. So maybe that's why I found out because the letter they sent me was generic and said my background. Check, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because they but, won't. Yeah, because she says they don't tell. They, that's why they, she doesn't know because she says they won't tell you they just let you know they just send you like a dear john type of type of mm -hmm. letter she read yeah, the letter and it's so disheartening mm. when you get it because literally i'm like her all my degrees centered around criminal justice and it was like what because this is my thing was you had to have a master's degree and i got it and i was like woohoo it's time to go nope no ma'am wow. wow wow and i'm like my background like me <laughs> I'm okay, like, Shan. Me, Shan. Shan. <laughs> uh, oops. I, okay, Shan. Okay, let me ask you this next. It's another Marie question. Uh, and succeeding. But when it, Marie was mad at somebody, oh, Marie was mad about um Latrice supposedly entertaining information about her businesses. Remember mm -hmm. that reunion? Yep, I remember oh, that. Yeah. And I now remember. Marie is over here entertaining and bringing it to the show about yep. Tambra, whereas Latrice kind of entertaining, but I didn't hear her ever bring it to the show. What You said Latrice was entertaining it? Yeah, she. well, Marie well, she accused was, her of entertaining was, it. Was, Latrice was puppet string in the background more than entertaining it because she oh, brought okay. that clear woman there. And the clear woman was on the phone. And remember, they heard her, Latrice, not Latrice, I'm um, look, I get those loves mixed Leticia. up. Latisha. Latisha heard her say, not her, Marie. Mm -hmm. She heard her say that on the phone. And so, you know, people look at Marie and they look at her aggression that she has for um, Latrice. And and then she also talked about on another interview, all the smoke she got. Like, you know, like you think about how many people call when Martell and um, allegedly went to um, jail in March. Mm -hmm. So you think about how many people called and they talked about how many people called from the police department and you heard content creators saying, well, I called, you know, I called and, Okay, so Marie was also, they were calling people as well, checking oh. her business. They were interfering with things, you oh. see. So, yeah, so, you know, that was kind of an area that she's in that's kind of sensitive because you, these people don't understand that these people watch the show right. and are doing, I don't know why people make these calls to these places, but they do. Hmm. And I understand all the smoke that Marie had for that. I will say I understand her smoke that she had for that because just like the season say, you met you are messing with my business. But this is Latrice's thing though. Latrice does this is the whole thing with So Gucci. Like she she inserts stuff. So I don't know if Marie's trying to play Latrice Latisha. Le, uh, I don't, know <laughs> I don't know if 
if Marie is trying to be Latrice in the matter, but if you're gonna do it towards Latrice, now she would have been doing it. Yeah, towards why is this towards Tambra? But why <laughs> yeah. are you picking on Tambra? What she think about you? it though? All the ladies came back, and I was surprised this season. They have all the said the words Tamra's a liar. And they did. I have tried to find out why they're saying that. And I have actually been surprised that they have all said that. I really am. Now I succeeded. Well, I did think Tamra do be yeah, telling some lies. Like, <laughs> like she, she knew she remembered she didn't want Akisha in the group, stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm saying they make it sound like the way they they make it sound mm -hmm. like girl, this girl just lied about everything. <laughs> you know, I know she did it about the party, the invite, you know, those types yeah. of things. Yeah. But they all do that on those shows. They, they do, do that's that true. Stuff. But <laughs> right. nothing that's out of the ordinary, but with her, huh. they keep Maybe. associating her name with the word liar. And Maybe. I was wondering, is... why are they doing that to her? I got an answer for you guys. Okay, what's the answer? I think because just like we just remember, just like Satine just told us, Tambra been in this. Tambra is known. Just like um her partner, I forget his name, his name Damon. Like right. he's like he said, she's known. Right. She's known. And I think Trendon also said like she should do the um the um podcast because she's known in all these different areas. Like she was doing this before they doing this. Like right. she's She's on the the dance circuit with the. That, with the that probably wasn't me saying I was hating. I'm like, okay, podcast. Yeah, she was an announcer. Um, <laughs> on... said she should do it. One of the content creators. I thought it was you because I really I, know, I, I was still like hating over here. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and I like her. Like I said, I've always liked her since you know, bring it. But um, yeah, I, yeah, I think I think thing. Marie's hating on her. I think Marie's really. She hating is, on her. and it's so weird. Like. At least stick to Latrice because we can understand that more. Right. But they all keep saying that. Like they, I've heard them say multiple yeah. ones. They're, they're multiple gonna eat her times. up in the reunion about it too. Yeah, and I'm like, why are they? Did they all get together and decide? But and you know, and you know how they are on these shows. Mm -hmm. Like we think of it as our friendships. No, they think of it as just like at work. You yeah. know, you look over and you see somebody not doing their job and you're the only one working and you mm -hmm. go there and you see they're not doing their job. That's how they look at it. Like, you're not bringing anything. Yeah, I keep hearing that. So that makes but she sense. she is, though. She's, we've been to the radio station. We're hearing about the podcast. We're hearing her. We hear about everything she's doing. So I'm, I'm confused because even that, that relationship is weird. <laughs> Their, her relationship is weird. Like, right. like I don't know why you why you there, but I I think maybe I'm kind of with on the side of she there for the show because I don't think she would be living with him if if the show wasn't. Yeah, I don't. Think, yeah. I think if the show yeah. was over tomorrow, she'd be packing mm -hmm. her bag. Yeah. But, I, yes. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, she's giving us something. I mean, it's it's not like she's not doing anything. So the only other thing that I can gather from that is. Like Marie is jealous of her of the spaces that she in because that be, means she's in some other spaces. Cause yeah, but I wonder then if it's like um mm -hmm. okay, had had Marie not gone so hard at Tamra, y'all, I still would really not like Tamra as much. Sometimes when people go so hard at somebody, I then am like, well, they're not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cause, Cause I, I like, like people Tamra. Talk about her bad, like they talk I, about her voice. So even in in other um, like blogs and stuff, they they're not nice to her. They don't. And I didn't succeed, and I didn't like her. Yeah, I've I come around this season because, like you said, the last one that bad. Right, they were little white ones and hey, little like they stupid all? stuff. <laughs> You yeah, know, oh, Miss, like it's so oh, oh, one second succeeding that Miss Ross. I want to tell you too because I saw you. If you ever see a premiere. You can be in the live chat just like you are now. Cause I was like, dang, you were early, but I couldn't chat with you because you were in the normal comment section. So I just want to tell you, we be in the live chat on my premieres too, so I can catch you next hey, time. Ross. <laughs> hey, Ross. Yeah. 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 So and, I, what you, I and what y'all think about so Gucci? Though? I don't like, like her. I I I, 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 I liked her. <laughs> And I think I, she's boring. You know I didn't like So Gucci from the from the start because I didn't like the name she chose for herself in the age bracket that she is in, uh, which is 
close to my age bracket, so I'm not, it's not, it's just, I don't understand. What are you doing? Like, I don't know. It was just like, then it just gave other fakeness to me. JJ gave her that name because I, I follow so him on too. social media and he was always buying her like Gucci slides and a bunch of Gucci. He like one, one time right. he bought her nothing but Gucci. So yeah. I think that was kind of his name. Yeah, for I think her, he like gave her that. Name. Yep, or someone might have saw her and they girl, you gotta you you always had your Gucci on when I see you. You know how okay that is. Well, now well why does she okay? Does she have to can she call it her nickname? Like she went by like that's the only name I knew of her at first. I didn't know the girls don't call her that, so that tells me it's not something that's just a familiar name. <laughs> yeah, they right. call her Sean Pay. Yeah, I Shantae. was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and Selena said, Sophia, Shantae, whatever yeah. you you call it. I said, Who is Shantae? <laughs> And I'm I'm mad with her because as a bonus parent, she's doing a really bad job. Well, she's definitely not a bonus. She's from doing what a really I'm bad seeing, job. From what I'm seeing, she's doing a bad job. But from what her the story her daughter's telling, she gave more to them than her own daughter. So you know what I mean? And like, that's the sad part. Because yeah. Because you you let you neglected your child, basically ignored mm -hmm. for this ninja's children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now you've ticked them off and they don't even like you because you're going for their right. mom, which I don't know why, because now Selena is so much elevated than you. But see, I'm a Selena fan too. Yeah. So I after I found all that stuff on, I'm biased. Yeah, I'm a Selena fan. <laughs> I was out there I was out there with her in the window. Right. Yeah. I was windmilling for Selena because yeah. You know, my girl was wrong. It's two left shoes. Yeah, I was looking. I'm like, well, let me break down the time and see how it really went down. And I'm like, if if I wasn't a fan, I was like, it's 50-50. But I'm a fan, and I'm like, it's 75%, 80% Gucci. <laughs> yeah, because you yeah. know what? Those girls are very respectful. And we know that we watch Bring It. The girls were 12 years old when they were on there. So if they lived with him any period of time, it wasn't that long. And he should have never brought his daughter's business like that on that show mm -hmm. and air that out if that's really the case. True, and you know, true, true, and true. it makes sense why they did not tell him about the wedding because as my daddy, my, my girls this, my girls that, we see that it is not the way it looks. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why women get caught up in these moments. They'll see a glimmer. Oh, he so loves his kids. Uh, okay, so we see he's been letting this woman mistreat his daughter. Yes, that is not love. Yes, and but so and check this out, succeeding. <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, honey. Oh, I'm so, oh that's what I'm just saying. The girls are so respectful, you know, in spite of that to her. Yeah, and. I um Selena did a interview after that with Carlos and also cuz I like you know we watched the show now I see how their custody was going because yes. Selena was like they went to school from his yes. house but she pretty much did everything else. Right. So <laughs> and then you talking about she wanted to be a party girl right. well, how did she have time to do anything even the show if okay. she was a party girl and like all those hours sir, all that them they, years. Yes. And they're doing multiple, like when people see these girls that in these dance groups, they're doing multiple days there. Like how they don't have time for prom. That's because all they're doing is dancing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And traveling. Don't forget yeah. traveling. Yeah. Traveling. yeah. Dancing and traveling. And they were very active, although we didn't see all those other parents. They were the core group and they were definitely very actively involved. She just mad and her daughter is mad because they were at the mall and everyone knew who his girls were and her and her daughter and they knew who he was. Yeah. And her and her daughter felt like the black sheep of the family. Yeah. And they have been upset since then. And JJ has a big personality. You see his mom has a big personality. She's gorgeous too. She and is pretty. <laughs> they have taught their those girls to have confidence mm -hmm. and selena even said on the reunion she did not teach her daughter was well, shame on you girl right and so gucci as much confidence as she tries to project i wish she had to put that confidence into her daughter 
as well. Hers comes off as fake to me, though. It it, yeah. it does, but she's she should at least try to teach her daughter how to. If you don't feel it, try to claim it anyway or something. Like I don't yeah, know. I don't think she feels it though. I think what her daughter is, what we're seeing is we're seeing the consequences of that mess that exactly. manure, that manure i don't mm -hmm. think she like she may be acting like that because she's getting paid because you know how she keeps saying i'm being paid on the show yeah <laughs> and so she's yeah. doing it because she's think of it of it as i'm acting Ooh, miss ross mm -mm. i couldn't have done it I don't have no kids, but I'm just saying if I did. That's why I don't, I, I'm too lazy for kids. Yeah, they are. I can't do this. Job. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I think I agree with you, 16. I think the her just like I was it weirded me out when her daughter was saying they thought they was better than me because of their skin color and it's that uh, no sweetheart, you had a problem with that. And I think right. not only did you have a colorism issue going on inside your head. But your mom projected Correct. it when she took care of those children over you. Yep. More now, when she now, was I'm over a, there with them over you, it's projecting it. Yeah. That 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 could I'm gonna say two things can be true because uh well y'all see me now. So but I'm just saying that I think there still could have been in some way in that house besides just her projecting it. I don't I you as as much as I mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know how to describe it. Okay, I'm a light skinned person, right? As much as that is true, I just think that is not all projection. Like there, even if it's 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 systemic, so therefore they may not know certain things could be coming from that. I don't think it was all in her daughter's head either. Well, the only reason I say that is because in some places people say that they have more of an issue with that than others okay and and that that is gonna be one of the places but i don't know where it's not i'm not gonna lie to you yeah. tell me where it's not an issue and you you know where you know and and they're in a place you know where people gonna say red bone oh i got me yeah, yeah, yeah. and so they're already feeling that way but the girls to me don't come across like with that type of Oh, you know, I yeah, you know, but let me let me tell you this though, succeeding. They don't have to because it's already easy for them, if that makes sense. They can flip around and not have to because it wasn't gonna come to them anyway. Like I don't know how to explain it. I okay, this is how I explain it. I try to explain it to when when trying to explain to someone that is not black how much privilege someone that's not black has. It's like exactly. you can't you can't tell that we're not breathing the same air, basically, or we're we're treading water while you're just walking normally on ground. You can't tell that, that there's a resistance on this side. You just don't feel the resistance. So you don't right. know to acknowledge the resistance sometimes. Well, that's, but, and, and to me, that's kind of like what um, Andy, the Andy with the um, Potomac, yeah. you know, women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's- Yeah, who wouldn't know? I don't, yeah. <laughs> because me, being me just because i mean what do, like okay like my best friend she will kind of bring her personality down in order to uh, make people feel comfortable okay okay and mm -hmm. so I, and and that would and for me my personality type is one where that would drain me mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. how much should i have to bring my personality like so when i go to a party for instance yeah. everyone's asked girl bring your friend tara back yeah i don't think that we should have to Oh, oh, you, oh, you feel like, oh, they and I, and you, me. And <laughs> you know what's succeeding? I get you on that end too. Um, I, my husband lectures me a lot on that in the sense of like, not like he's my teacher, but in the sense of that dimming your light thing is real. It's real. Yeah. So they should not, because their father, we could see he has a big personality. Yeah, he, he does. Specifically said that. And so Gucci admitted on that stage no one asked her that she said i did not do i in that first person did not do enough to show my and that's where that problem started and that's where that problem went now we know kids are kids yeah because i know i did it to my sister you know i'm the smart one i'm the <laughs> one. you know i'm the this you know we just do that as kids sometimes 
Yeah. And so for a girl to say, oh, I, we don't want you to take no bath with us. I mean, one, they're all their sisters. You dirty. You know, we don't want you to yeah. take water. Yeah, with you're going to you're gonna tease your sibling like that anyway. That's why I was, I didn't want to name that one because I'm like, that really could be like, you're just not, we're just giving you a hard time because you're a stepsister or you're a sibling or whatever. And yeah. think about the fact that JJ is so conflated himself and we know he don't dim his life for nobody. No, else. he don't. He, he don't about daddy's babies. Okay, right. so that we, is true. So between him, his, her mother giving them more attention, right. and the girls not having to work for it, yeah, that's, the made, that's what I say attention. in her head. That yeah, because even yeah. like for us, they tell us it's in our head. Right. It don't really work like that, but yeah. technically, it kind of is. But you can't tell us how we feel. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we feel it. Even right. though you don't feel it, don't mean it wasn't happening. I didn't say it wasn't happening. Right. It was happening. It just was only happening to her. Right. You know, mm -hmm. just like that. It I got you. I got you. To us. So yeah. I and I only know it to explain it that way because we li right. I live, like I said, I left all my people. So I'm out here with the other folks. And right. clear people, as my homegirl called. Yeah, you like and me. You know, <laughs> so I had to teach my children how to move in that circle and not yeah. to dim your light, but move in that circle. Right. And it's just a difference as to how you do, how you, how you raise your kids. Because sometimes it don't work right. Sometimes it do. Right. It's just everybody's personality is different. And I it's think different. she, she's more of the shy type who right. she needed what her mom was giving to those yeah, other she, kids. She, she definitely that. needed she that. Needed she that. definitely needed that, yes. And think about it. They have a mom like Selena, so they are going to be confident as yeah, well. Yeah, because Selena was, she is confident. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did y'all see too? Um, I'm cutting y'all off for this one because I'm going to forget. Selena <laughs> said in her interview that she had all the girls at her house a bunch of times and that's so Gucci's daughter was like, Can you be my mom? Right. And that leads me to believe oh. like she, she was more fun to be to treated me. like them girls. Right. Oh. She was more being treated oh. like them. She wanted her, you know, she I think she wanted the girly, the more fun. Yes. And, you know, yeah. And so Girl, that was so sad. That yeah. was so sad. That is very when sad. She, when she said she said that I read all the way into that, like right. she and I think so her Gucci confirmed it. Different. Ooh, if she had ooh. the opportunity to spend more time with Selena and the girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because her mother, you know, and, and her mother did, you know, I guess the best she could, you know, but she does not have this reason to, she seems to have this dislike for Selena, like the feelings like, you know, maybe the guy would have for his ex-wife. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> incorporated those feelings into her soul. And that's the problem I have with her is you should be able to separate yourself from that mm -hmm. and to pick up the pieces because you are not building a good family relationship. And now your daughter, you know, your kids in, in, in this and now his kids and you're back worse than where you started from in the first place. Oh, right. that's so true. But you're right. Yeah. It does happen. You know, I'm, you know, it does happen like, you know, in the South a lot where, I mean, cause you look at Tisha's cousin, that one where she used to be their complexion, but now she's like, um, close to Stormy's complexion. I, I didn't see that picture till today. I was like, whoa, 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 oh, yeah. whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so she, you know, yeah. Mm. And, you know, and I think just, that that may be part of teacher's issues as well. Like right. her, that's the issue for her where Kiki has embraced it. Yep. And she teacher didn't. And then you got your your mama just pitting you against everybody, trying to make yeah. you the best because she was trying to build that in you, but she yeah. she was doing it the wrong way. And so the way she just, was, who was she talk? Who was uh Wanda talking about one day? I can't remember which content creator, but she was naming every hateful thing that other people would say about oh, black people. He was, oh yeah. I know and I'm like, talking. are you kidding me? She's horrible. She's horrible. Your daughter can't have confidence because yep. you, 
you're saying that if there's a a, a feature that's yeah. like this, then it's not attractive, basically. Right. Oh, I remember then, that when she was calling them the monk. The, 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 yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean to be mean, y'all. It's not Sunday yet, though. I can say <laughs> it to y'all because y'all the family. And I'm honestly looking at her saying, how do you look like that and move your lips to say anything about exactly. Rooney one girl you don't have no mirrors in your house it was mm -hmm. ironic i'm like None. you're 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 talking about things that someone literally can hold up the mirror and just no. like okay now you look at yourself should we be saying these things and then how do you feel about yourself then okay y'all from the exactly. some of y'all that's from the south so yeah I was yeah, a lot of in Daytona people. Beach, and I lived in Florida for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a saying that they used to have. And you know how Wanda came on, and she would wear all these clothes that were not age appropriate. I mean, she just looked a fool in them. <laughs> she mm -hmm. wore stuff that looked younger than stuff that Tisha wore. And it was like she was all jam up. That's what mm -hmm. they used to call it, jam up. And y'all mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about, y'all jam up. Like, kind of <laughs> stuffed herself into that. It just did not fit her because it was not for her shape. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Age. Yeah. And you know, at different ages, we may have been able to wear certain things, but as mm -hmm. we blossom, maybe have some kids, maybe the, yeah. the boobs, maybe get, oh, you know, then certain things <laughs> kind of change. And I told. I told Choice, I'm trying to go as Angela Bassett is my role model on how I'm trying to age. I know. I know. <laughs> her, her and Lynn Whitfield. Lynn Whitfield, mm -hmm. yes. Those are my favorites. Yeah, <laughs> and so I'm thinking, how does Wanda, I mean, she obviously has not ever looked in the mirror because mm -hmm. I would be, if I, I'm not being funny, oh, y'all, please, oh, Lord, please forgive me. I would not say anything about anyone if I look like that. I would not. Let me tell you, I'm so careful on what I try to say about certain people, about people's appearances, because I'm like, I don't need nobody coming back to humble me, you know? <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying it's a difference in, you know, saying, like, pointing out little things and looking like her. No, that's what I'm saying, like, being super vindictive herself. about it. Yeah, I'm and mm -mm. calling people names and right, right. based on their race and, you know what right. I'm saying? And you're you're talking about features of us as black Exactly. I it goes back to the um painting we just looked at. Like yes. girl, <laughs> like do you not realize you're black? I don't know if anyone held a mirror. Right. <laughs> One that makes me think that if she could have gotten a hold of that same uh bleach at, or whatever product, oh, yeah. she would have done it. If she could have done it at, at a, the right time. Well, look at Tasha. Stop. <laughs> Karma girl, you said you peach color. I, 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 I was like, with that name, she probably, yeah. Uh, Karma girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said she liked that clear people. I heard, oh, there's so many good names, but I'm not going to start because yes. all people. <laughs> Eight and a half by 11. <laughs> so yes. Got a peach color. <laughs> Got a peach. Yeah. But yeah, 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 Karma Girl. Clear okay, the clear kids just came up, so I gotta go, lady. Okay, I should be up. wrapping this up anyway. I feel like I'm just hanging on it. Choice, like, I'm acting like Choice ain't got no life. Choice gotta <laughs> come on up here with us. I gotta <laughs> drop down okay. in the bushes because the girls, they want me to I'll do something. Bye, uh, bye eight, Shan, thank you for seven, coming up here. Seven and nine, and we usually make Ooh. uh mocha latte. Something I'll from Starbucks that got caramel, uh, espresso shots, uh, milk, and do you make them? I yeah, with my blender girl because they yeah. five dollars at Starbucks. <laughs> girl, I know. I got all the stuff myself, and when they come over, Gemma, you, can we you, get some latte, some um, <laughs> frat, come frat. You must be like frat. me. I have the three pumps, three different pumps because I work from home, so I have the caramel, I have the vanilla. <laughs> I had the, the gold pumps. I had me a whole little station. Yeah. I had stopped using espresso shots because my daughter was like, nah, can you That'll not get them kids? Shots, right? Girl, I'd probably be bouncing because I'm like Are naturally you? hyper. I would probably yeah. be bouncing from the room. The kids. <laughs> I give them decaf. I, I get decaf um, French vanilla coffee, um, caramel, ice, and milk. 
it's Caramel. mostly milk. The the coffee is just to turn it brown. And I blend it all up with some ice in my blender. And I put um, whipped cream on top and caramel on top. And girl, they be getting down. Look, look, Karma Girl says she trying to tan. You know, I worked with someone and, you know, we would tell people. And I'll say, like, I'm more brown complected. And I would say, like, I'm going to tan. And people do not even look a second time at me when I say that. <laughs> they, well, my daughter tans. My daughter tans. They her do and my not husband, look a second time. They are clear <laughs> in the winter time, and when I say clear, baby, they are I clear. Honestly, I used to uh, live in uh, Montana for a while. Uh, military Montana? stuff, right? Yes, military stuff. And I'm telling you, in the winter time, I would get asked, "Are you okay? Are you sick? Do you need to go home?" I'm like, no, oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Now, now I'll tell you this. I, okay, so I will tan. I don't go to tan, but I will tan because my sunroof and and for some reason my skin has like red undertones. So I tan. So I tan. Oh yeah, my tan will last to like November. Hold, hold on one second. Hi, Miss Mommy Lady. I just want to make sure I acknowledge you hey, before. Miss mommy yes. lady. How are you doing? Hey, I think this good. might be your and first I'm time in my chat. Like, I'm not gonna welcome. let y'all keep me up here. Bye, y'all. Shan, look, I'm trying to look. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. Bye, Shan. Succeed. Right. I'm gonna let you go too because I gotta, I gotta make sure the choice is good and then, uh, you know, check yes. on home and everything. Yes, you better. T yeah, take care. Put, and, and look, Google the song "Take Care Home" when you, when you, um, when you okay. make sure home is good. Go okay, okay, I will. <laughs> And, and just play it and dance around and just play it and dance around with your husband. Just oh. play it loud. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. I will. Choice. Know that song. <laughs> tell you who the, who the artist is. Take care of home. <laughs> Came out in 2000. I want to say 2000. Between 2000 and 2000. So let me go ahead and have the tab open so I don't You'll forget when you get off of here. Okay. Oh, it's Keisha Cox. Yeah, I was like, look, and and I'm gonna probably do this again on another day. I'm gonna forget. So you're gonna remind me again <laughs> about uh, Keisha. If you being the same name, because I'm so I'm so bad with that. Thank okay, you. succeed. Okay. Thank you for holding it down. <laughs> Thank you. I enjoyed all of you. Okay, have a good evening. You, you have, too. have a good evening. Make y'all a little picnic in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> thank Her you. Choice thank designs you. next time to give romance ideas since she's been married for a minute. I know, right? Yes. Okay. Choice, choice probably wouldn't believe how long I've been married too. I got. I have to tell her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna I'm look it up. I got the okay. tab open. Yep. Okay. okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, y'all. So this is going on Patreon. Choice, if you put the link up one more time for me. These lips will be on Patreon. It's the third set of lips. Hey, thank you, that Miss Ross. I appreciate it. Definitely. Um, I'm putting these lips up by tomorrow. So they'll be the third set, free to patrons. I only did one tier. It's so a $5 tier. Of course, there's never any pressure to do anything. Just letting y'all know because I do like to share my stuff. And I figured that that would be a, a safe way to share my art and stuff like that. So. Just letting y'all know. But I hope y'all have a great Saturday. Um, I'll put up notices for the next live and all that. So y'all know. I'll, I'll try to notify y'all. But do y'all have anything else before I play the music to lead us on out of here? And I'm going to wait a second because this dog going to delay between StreamYard and YouTube. is crazy. Like, I'm thinking nothing else is coming. And then, <laughs> like, three things come in. But yeah, that Miss Ross, I hope you catch the next premiere too. If you do, I'm in the chat, I promise you. So look at that, look for the chat too. Cause I've been meaning to say that. I've seen you a couple times. <laughs> okay. I'm getting it about 60 more seconds and I'll play us out of here. I got my correct in, um, video back too. Don't forget the 51 minute video. Oh, okay. Okay, succeeding. I'll watch the, the actual long one. I was wondering why people was talking about stuff I didn't hear about. <laughs> All right. I'll play the song for us going out. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank you for letting me draw for you. And I will see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> I